nachos. Hey, I'll take some. Great. And some Frank's Red Hot. Oh, nah, I'm good. Oh, you're just going to eat these dry, plain, boring nachos with no Frank's. Uh... Oh, seriously? Frank it up. Frank it up. Come on, lady. Frank it up. Frank it up. Frank it up. Yeah! Oh. Yeah, this guy finally gets it. Hey, look, we're on the Jumbotron. It's the perfect blend of flavor and heat. Frank's Red Hot. I put that sh on everything. The following is a presentation of WRDN Sports. Welcome to the Advent Health of Durand preview show, brought to you by Advent Health of Durand. It's time to feel whole with Advent Health. To learn more, visit adventhealth.com. Now, with today's preview, here is Brian Winnikins. From Stanley Boyd High School tonight, Mondovi is taking on the Orioles in a Clover Belts conference matchup. This is the Advent Health Preview Show, brought to you by Advent Health of Durand. It's time to feel whole with Advent Health. Visit their website at adventhealth.com. Well, for the Buffaloes, they are 3-0 and on the season. Now, uh, they had a bye week last week as Osseo Fairchild had to forfeit their game. Meanwhile, for Stanley Boyd, they defeated uh, Fall Creek 26-14 to last night, or last week, rather. They're also undefeated so far on the season. For uh, the Buffaloes, uh, Jake Lindsay is uh, their leading passer. He's also the leading rusher as well. He's so far has 145 yards on the season and a touchdown. For uh, the uh, Stanley Boyd Orioles, Carter Eisenberger is uh, the leading passer. So far, 166 yards uh, passing. He has a touchdown on the season. Madden Marr is uh, the uh, leading uh, uh, rusher as well, and he's also the leading receiver for the Orioles. Going to be a good game tonight from Stanley Boyd, and coming up uh, we will uh, talk with uh, Mondovi head coach uh, Craig Loscheider about this year's uh, Buffalo team and also tonight's game against Stanley Boyd. Coming up next on the Advent Health uh, Preview Show, well, we have a whole bunch of games on our Duran Fresh Market scoreboard tonight. We'll tell you who's playing where. That's coming up next on the Advent Health Preview Show, brought to you by Advent Health of Durand. It's time to feel whole with Advent Health. Visit their website at adventshealth.com. It's Mondovi Boys Football on WRDN. What does it mean to feel whole? For some, it's omega-3s, high-fives, or shuffleboard. Yes. It's kale, kiwi, kumquats, all together. Whatever helps you feel whole, Advent Health is here to support it. We're here to heal what hurts, ease your mind, and lift your spirit. With world-class medical expertise and compassionate whole person care. So go for it. Get back on your feet. Overcome the odds. Live your best life and feel whole with Advent Health. To learn more, visit adventhealth.com. Welcome back to the Advent Preview Show, brought to you by Advent Health of Durand. It's time to feel whole with Advent Health. Visit their website at adventhealth.com. As we get ready for tonight's Mondovi Stanley Boyd Boys football game, let's take a look at uh, what's happening around the area on our Durand Fresh Market scoreboard. Durand Fresh Market, your hometown grocery store. Busy night in football this Friday night, along with the Mondovi Stanley Boyd football game in the Clover Belt. Elk Mound hosting Osseo Fairchild. Fall Creek is at Nielsville Granton. In the Darylin Conference tonight, Blair Taylor will host Whitehall. Pepin Alma is at Augusta. Oliva Strum travels to or is hosting Independence Gilmanton. Melrose Mindoro plays at Cochrane Fountain City. Dunn St. Croix Conference football tonight. Spring Valley will play at Colfax. Boyceville on the road to Turtle Lake. Elmwood Plum City hosting Kadat. And Clear Lake is at Glenwood City. Middle Border Conference uh, football. Ellsworth will be at Baldwin Woodville. Somerset hosting Prescott. Amory will host Rice Lake. And Osceola is at St. Croix Central. You can follow the Duran Fresh Market scoreboard on our website at realcountry1430.com. And on the way, on the uh, Advent Health Preview Show, we are going to talk to uh, Mondovi head coach Craig Loscheider. And so we'll find out a little bit more about uh, the Mondovi Buffaloes this year and about tonight's game against Stanley Boyd. That's coming up on the Advent Health Preview Show. Brought to you by Advent Health of Durand. It's time to feel whole with Advent Health. Visit their website at adventhealth.com. It's Mondovi Boys Football on WRDN. Have you done anything to feel whole today? Did you get moving? Did you stay connected? 
Did you gift yourself a moment of peace? No matter what helps you feel whole, Advent Health is here to support you with world-class expertise and whole person care to keep you healthy and happy in body, mind, and spirit for your whole life. Feeling whole always begins at adventhealth.com. Welcome back to the Advent Health Preview Show brought to you by Advent Health of Durant. Time to feel whole with Advent Health. Visit their website at adventhealth.com. As we get ready for uh, tonight's Mondovi Stanley Boyd uh, football game, joining us right now is uh, Mondovi head coach, uh, Mr. Loscheider. And uh, coach, thanks for joining us uh, this evening. Well, we normally are doing for football. We always do Durant, Arkansas. So tell us a little bit about this year's Mondovi Buffalo football team. Yeah, well, thanks, Brian. Um, you know, we've replaced a lot of guys from last year's team that uh, it was pretty successful and, and kind of set a new bar for our program. But um, uh, we, at the same time, we, we really were excited about them. Uh, lots of kids who've worked really hard and uh, lots of kids we believed would be really good football players if they got the chance to uh, be on the field and, and kind of show their stuff. So, um, so far, they've, they've uh, competed well and, and beat a couple of really good teams in our mind. And, uh, and we're excited for the opportunity to see them tonight against Stanley. As, as, a, as a coach, is that your hardest thing? With, you know, when I've talked to like with Coach Rosemeyer or even other, uh, other football coaches that, okay, you get your team kind of together and, you know, they, they kind of get up together. But then you have that big change over and now it's like, oh, geez, I have this whole new puzzle I got to put together. Yeah, it's a it's a challenge every year. You don't um, build a team like a, a college or, or pro team would because uh, you know the changeover happens, and, and every time it's a a little bit different. You try to be consistent with what you do on offense and defense and how you build your program, but um, it, it has to adjust a little bit to to the kids you have, or else you're not going to be very successful. Does it take you a few games? I know with Coach Rosemary, sometimes he's like, you know, it takes us a few games because. Brian, you know, you, you might be really, you, you might want to play linebacker, but you're not going to do it. it. It just doesn't work, Brian. You need to be a cornerback. I mean, do you have to, to kind of find out where these kids are going to place just by kind of watching them play more than just practice? Yeah, absolutely. There's always a few that you know, and then there's a few that, uh, that, w- that we miss. You know, I have kids that are frustrated with their playing time right now, some of them, and I say, we always miss on some kids every year. I, I at the end of the year, there's always some regrets on how how you positionally like placed kids and 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 how it took you too long to figure out that one kid might have been a little bit better fit in a different spot. Um, I I think you you do your best and, and you you know if anybody thinks about it and worries about it, it it's me and our coaching staff. So uh, we never get it perfect, but at the start of the year with the new group, there's always um, more turnover, more. Um, more changes, I guess, that we make early on in the season, and, and I always have confidence that by the time uh, by the time we need to be a good team at the end of the season, we'll we'll have it close to the best that we can be. Talking with uh, Mondovi head coach uh, Lo Scheider t- this evening as we get ready for tonight's uh, Mondovi Stanley Boyd boys football game. Okay, so tell us uh, what does the film tell you about Stanley Boyd? Have you had a chance to watch some of that? What what can we expect from the Orioles? Yeah, well, unfortunately, we didn't we didn't have a game last week. So uh, Thursday night, I went and watched Regis versus Elk Mound, and that was a really good football game, uh, two good football teams. And then Friday night, I went to watch Fall Creek play uh, Stanley Boyd, and um, yeah, I'd I'd watched Stanley Boyd on tape a little bit. You know, in three years in the Clover Belt, we're one and two against them. Uh, we lost two really close games, and then last year had a kind of one sided game. But um, we're not confused about what type of program they are. They have a really good coaching staff and a really strong program. And so I think more often than not, it's going to be a fight to get a win at, at Stanley. Are, are they offensively, are they just a type of smash mouth? We're going to run it right down your throat or do they like to, no, we're going to spread you out and we're going to throw it deep or just spread you out to try to smash mouth you? No, I think th- they run the ball well, but the, the key to their offense is the pace that they are able to run. They run faster pace than anybody else in our conference and uh, force you to defend a lot of plays over the course of game. The, the, their games have at least, you know, 25, 30% more plays than your average football game because of the pace that they push. So there's more possessions, more chances for you to have a breakdown defensively and, and 
you know give up points. Uh, they're they're efficient in the passing game. Uh, they're, they're they're a good running team, but they're they're a speed perimeter type of team more so than a downhill between the tackles type team. And uh, they have guys that can hurt you in space. So um, we need to be sure tacklers and 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 you know not as uh, yeah. I was a linebacker that loved playing C gap to C gap where you know the fast kids can't. You're not. You might. You might be sore at the end of the game, but you're not embarrassed because you, you got outclassed out in space, and and that's kind of how they play it. They, 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 they'll come downhill at you, but they they make their money on the perimeter in the in the pass game and the run game. Meanwhile, defensively, what what are you expecting them to throw at the Mondovi offense? Oh, they're they're really frustrating to me because they always play really good run defense, and you know that's that's our bread and butter. So they make it difficult. Uh, I've tried to communicate to our kids this week that the yards aren't going to come in huge chunks against these guys. They're 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 really sound defensively. They pursue the ball really well. They they don't uh, you know assignment wise they're really sound. So so I feel like uh, it's you have to just physically beat them, and you have to get four yards when you only got two blocked up and, and you have to keep fighting and, and hope that as the body punches start to weigh on them in the second half that those four yard runs become eight and nine yard runs. Going to be a fun game tonight coach. Good luck. Hey, Thank you very much Brian. Appreciate you. Coming up next on the Advent Health uh, preview show we have a starting lineups and kickoff. It's Mondovi at Stanley Boyd and Cloverbelt football. Coming up next on Real Country 1430 AM Stereo WRDN Durant Mondovi Wabasha and 107.3 FM Translator W297CH Durant. Right now health is in every headline but are we actually taking care of ourselves? At Advent Health we're making sure you can safely check in with a medical professional. Schedule an appointment with your primary care professional or book a virtual visit right from your home. We're taking every safety precaution so you have easy access to care. There's never been a more important time to take care of your whole health. It's time to check in. Download the Advent Health app or visit adventhealthdurand.com. And welcome back uh, to uh, Stanley Boyd as we are just moments away from uh, tonight's uh, Mondovi and Stanley Boyd uh, boys football game. We have our national anthem, which is going to be sung by the Stanley Boyd Choir. As our boys goes, we present our national colors. And with us tonight, it is an honor to introduce the Stanley Boyd Choir here to perform the national anthem led by Mr. Drako. with uh, tonight's national anthem. 
And a special welcome to the men and women uh, serving in the military listening to our broadcast on our streaming audio service at realcountry1430.com. We hope, uh, we thank you for your service. We hope tonight's uh, broadcast brings you a taste of home wherever you may be serving. And our streaming audio being brought to you by Prime Realty of Duran. Visit their website at primerealtymidwest.com. Prime Realty, they are the area's number one home seller. And Adam Super Service here in Epic Old Car Care Center, downtown Duran. Also, a special welcome to those of you watching our uh, broadcast as well on our video streaming page at our website at realcountry1430.com and our YouTube channel. Our video service is being brought to you by the Wisconsin Soybean Marketing Board. And thank you to Wisconsin Soybean Growers and the Wisconsin Soybean Marketing Board. The uh, Buffaloes, they will be in their road uniforms, white uniforms, blue helmets, and the blue pants and the blue uh, numerals for the Orioles. They're in their orange uniforms, black numerals, and black helmets. Uh, the Orioles will be kicking off, and uh, they will be kicking off from right to, to left. Uh, the Buffaloes going from left to right here in our Seiforth Auction first quarter. And uh, th of, uh, thank you to uh, Chuck and the staff at Seiforth Auction of Mondovi. Visit them online at Seiforth Auction. Dot com. Pleasure to bring you tonight's Mondovi Buffalo Boys football game. We'll have more football tomorrow morning with Durand, Arkansas taking on Eau Claire Regis. So here we go. And uh, we are underway. A nice high floating kick taken at the four to the 10, to the 15, to the 20, to the 25, and straight ahead up to about the 27-yard line. And that was uh, Porter Bauer with the carry. So first and 10 for the Buffaloes. So we'll call it officially at the 26-yard uh, line is where they will officially mark it. Throughout the evening, we'll also be thanking our high school sports sponsors again. Please thank all of our sponsors for making our broadcasts uh, possible. Waiting for the snap, Lindsay in the backfield. And man goes in motion. Snyder in the backfield. Back to pass is Lindsay. Rolls to his right, looking. Now he's going to keep it himself. Crosses the 25 to the 30. Here on the near side, up to the 35. And he'll be taken out of bounds at about the 36-yard line. Nearly enough for a first down. In on the tackle number 65, Gavin Hatfield. Gavin Hatfield. And uh, that is going to be enough for a first down because they'll mark it at the 38. So first and 10 for the Buffaloes. Buffaloes come to the line as uh, Lindsey waits for the snap. Snyder in the backfield with him. Single wide receiver left and right here on the near hash. Good snap and handoff to Snyder. Straight ahead we go. Puts his head down. Gets hit right away and gets sent back. Leading the charge, number 40, and th that is uh, Chase Sturm. Pushed back by number 40, Chase Sturm. And so uh, up to uh, the 40-yard line, second down and eight now for the Buffaloes. Clock running down to 11-18 remaining in the Seiforth Auction first quarter, no score. As the Buffaloes now come to the line. Single wide receiver left and right. Wing back on the left of the formation. Snyder in the backfield with Lindsey. Hands it out. Nope, he's going to keep it himself. Goes to his left. Breaks one tackle. Crosses the 40. Puts his head down. Crosses the 45. Stays on his feet. Then gets shoved back at about the 46. And uh, leading the charge, Landon uh, Hale. Or Landon Hole, rather. And uh, so he'll get, uh, though, a nice gain. A gain of about uh, six on the play, we'll call it. Third down coming up. And three, we'll call it from the 46. Clock continues to run down to 10.23 remaining in the Seiforth Auction first quarter. So Lindsay brings the uh, Buffaloes up to the line, waits for the snap. Good snap, hand off to Snyder straight ahead, puts his head down, and he's gonna be short of the first down by about a yard. 
at the 48-yard line. It's like uh, tackled by Sturm with the stop, and so forth down in a yard. I think the I think the Buffaloes are going for it. Well, they're not going to be like. <laughs> well, this isn't like the game last night with the Lions, where it's fourth down inside your 20, and you fake the punt. All right, Buffaloes come to the line. Single wide receiver left and right. They're right at the middle of the field, in between the two hashes. Man comes in motion. Lindsay waits for it. Low snap. He keeps it himself, picks his way through, crosses the 50. He will have enough for the first down. Quarterback keeper by number two, Jacob Lynn. Making uh, the stop off the bottom of the pile, Jake Legrander. And so inside Oriole territory, first and 10 for the Buffaloes. Thank you to Riverland Energy, your Touchstone Energy partner, the Chet Fitzsmith, the funeral home of Mondovi. Find out about pre-planning funeral services by calling Chet Fitzsmith at 926-3630 or visit them online at chetfit-smithfuneralhome.com. First and 10 for the Buffaloes. Man comes in motion. Lindsay now hands it off, and uh, that is uh, going to be Porter Bauer. Gets around the corner but uh, cannot make it as he gets hit right at the corner, beating his blocker, uh, Storm Teary. And maybe a gain of about a yard and a half, we'll call it. Down to about the 48-yard line, we'll call it. So Panthers, or Buffaloes now come to the line. Lindsay waits for the snap. Single wide receiver left and right. Snyder in the backfield, and now going in motion is Sandberg. And it's going to be straight ahead as Lindsay crosses the 45, puts his head down, and he'll get down to about the 43-yard line. Here's her with the tackle. So third down coming up. We'll call a third and five from the 44. Here in the Seiforth auction first quarter, no score, 7.50 remaining. Lindsey waits for the snap, two wide receivers on the far side. Man comes in motion, play action. Lindsey rolls to his left, looking, now he throws. It's going to be caught, and that is uh, number 15, Austin Remington with the catch, and it'll be all the way down uh, to the 24-yard line on the far side. Tackled by and uh, with the stat with the uh, stop number 17 Jake Legrander for uh, the Orioles nice drive here by the Buffaloes in this Seiforth auction first quarter no score 738 remaining first and 10 from the Oriole 23 Lindsay waits for the snap three wide receivers on the right of the formation and it's going to be a handoff to Snyder. Picks his way through, crosses the 20, crosses the 15. Man, you'll be close uh, but short of the first down. Hatfield with the stop of four, the Orioles. Second down, and we'll call it two from the 16, or from the 14. Just, it's actually just inside the... 15 yard line. Waiting for the snap now. And uh, it's going to be Lindsay keeping it himself. Picks his way through. Gets hit right away. Uh, and uh, that is number 51, Robert Poole. I think he's going to be short of the first down. So second down here. And uh, yeah, well, well, we're going to have left foot, right foot. We're going to have to check it out. Now they're going to, no, they're going to call it a first down. Okay. Wow, I figured they were going to bring in the chains. Nope. All right, so first and 10 from the 13. Buffaloes come to the line. Single wide receiver now, left and right. Lindsey and uh, Snyder waiting for the snap. Lindsay hands it to Snyder straight ahead. He goes, oh, he gets hit right away. Wow, what a nice hit by Poole. Maybe a couple of yards on the play. Call it down to the 11-yard line. Second and eight now 
for the Buffaloes. On this opening drive, sun's starting to go down here in Stanley. Oriole Park, beautiful park. A nice facility. We'll be back here uh, later on this year. Trend Arkansas fans for uh, the football game. Very, very nice facility. Lindsay waits for the snap now. Two wide receivers on the right of the formation from the far hash. Lindsay waits for the snap. He's going to play action. Nice play action. He throws it. It's going to be caught. That is the number 15, Remington. Remington will be hauled down. And uh, he will be hauled down by number 40, and that is the Sturm. And it'll be close to a first down. Let's see. We'll have to, uh, we'll have to check it out. The ref comes over and says, well, let's look. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, he's not sure. No, he's going to say. Nope, oh, he's going to call it third down. He's going to say short. All right. I figured he'd measure it. Uh, just inside the four-yard line. It says, wind the clock, please. There we go. 5.14 remaining here in the Seiforth Auction first quarter. Thanks to Chuck and the staff at Seiforth Auction Mondovi. Visit them online at SeifortHAuction.com. Just Please thank all of our high school sports sponsors. And now we get a whistle and a timeout. Timeout Mondovi with five minutes remaining here in the Seiforth Auction first quarter and no score. Third down coming up. Thank you to the Bauer Bill Tire for all of your tire needs, rotations, and oil changes. It's Bauer Bill Tire, Prospect Street, Duran. The Cottage from Floral Arrangements to Gifts from Mom. The Cottage will be having an open house next week. It's the Cottage, downtown Durand. The JKO Auto Body Shop with a custom painting, car restoration, and collision repair. It's the JKO Auto Body Shop, Madison Street, downtown Durand. Duran Fresh Market, so your hometown grocery store, Duran Fresh Market. Visit Duran Fresh Market online at freshmarketwy.com from extra coupons, recipes, and more. The O'Galley Cheese Factory. For all of your snacking needs, they feature cheese, locally made beef sticks, sausage, and more. They're open seven days a week, Highway 25, Durant. And Numbers R Us, daily money management for individuals. They take care of things so you don't have to. Mail handling, bill payment, and fraud prevention. Rhonda's bonded and insured. Give Rhonda a call at 672-8093. That's 672-8093, or visit them online at numbersrus.com. Please thank all of our sponsors. Give them a call, drop them an email, visit their business, and tell them thank you for supporting our broadcasts. Without their help, we would not be able to bring you tonight's game here on WRDN. So big third down here coming up, third and inches from the three. Lindsey keeps it himself. Straight ahead, he gets hit right away. I don't think he got it. We'll see where they marked it, but I don't think he got the first down. I think he actually may have lost. He lost a half a yard, fourth down from the four. He lost a half a yard. That play was way too slow to develop. So the Orioles trying to make a big stand. Another fourth down here coming up. Fourth and a yard, we'll call it. Buffaloes to the line. Clock down to 429. Two wide receivers on the right of the formation from the near hash. Fourth and one from the four. Lindsey waits for the snap. Good snap. Keeps it himself. Rolls to his left. Touchdown. Faked everybody out, faked the handoff to Snyder and in for the touchdown. So with the score, it makes it 6 nothing, Buffaloes. As Buffaloes now come to the line for the two-point conversion. Lindsay now waits for the snap. Man goes in motion. Long snap now. Hands it off to Snyder. Straight ahead he goes. Puts his head down and in for the two-point conversion. With 4.16 remaining, it is Mondovi 8 and Stanley Boyd nothing here in our Seiforth Auction first quarter. Seiforth Auction of Mondovi. Visit them online at SeiforthAuction.com. Also, thank you to Heike Pharmacy. They will be uh, this fall having flu COVID-19 uh, shots and the, the shingles uh, vaccine and other vaccines available. Just call or visit Heike Pharmacy downtown Duran for more information. The Duran Smokehouse. For all of your grilling needs, it's Duran Smokehouse, Highway 25 Durant. While you're there, don't forget to ask about the beef and pork bundles. Also, the 
pork, the beef sticks too from Durant Smokehouse. 24-7 and West Wisconsin Telecom, building smart fiber optic communities from the ground up. Find out more, visit www.wwt.coop. Provisions Health, Durand, changing the way you experience health care. Find out more at provisions.health. And the rooster tail. Visit the rooster tail for daily specials. Don't forget about the Friday fish fry tonight. Tomorrow they have the Saturday pizza special. That's the rooster tail grill, downtown Durand. Please thank all of our sponsors. Give them a call, drop them an email. Visit their business. Tell them thank you for supporting our broadcasts here on WRDN. Without their support, uh, we would not be able to bring you tonight's game. So please thank all of our sponsors for supporting our broadcasts. Connor Johnston to kick it away for the Buffaloes. And Mondovi leading 8-0. And a ball just dies right at the 27. Picked up there by its number seven off to the races. We could have it all the way for the touchdown. And that's going to be Carlin all the way back for the score. Landon Carlin with the touchdown on the kickoff return to make it 8-6. Mondovi. Well, the ball just died right at the 27-yard line. He picked it up, and he had a nice alley. And it was off to the races for the touchdown. So uh, the uh, Orioles now will try to convert the two-point conversion to tie it up. Interesting way they're lining up. They got the center and then handoff, and that's to number seven, and that is to Carlin. Carlin gets up and in, and he's in for the two-point conversion. We are tied. So just like that, Special teams get Stanley Boyd back in the game after the long Mondovi drive. We are tied at eight with 4.07 remaining here in our Seiforth Auction first quarter. Seiforth Auction, visit them online, SeiforthAuction.com. Thank you to Duran Napa Farmers. Visit Duran Napa for custom hoses, bulk fluids, filters, tools, and parts uh, you need. To keep the equipment running this harvest season, that's Duran Napa, downtown Duran. Elsevier Co-op, visit Elsevier Co-op's small engine center today because you really do want to get your snowblower ready for winter. I know it's a beautiful weekend. <laughs> Trust me, get the snowblower ready uh, before the snow flies or talk with the staff at Elsevier Co-op and uh, find out about the Cub Cadet snowblowers available at Elsevier Co-op. Please thank all of our sponsors for supporting our broadcast. Give them a call, drop them an email, visit their business, and tell them thank you for supporting our broadcasts, not only on air, but also Prime Realty and Adam Super Service, if you're listening to us through our streaming audio, and Wisconsin Soybean uh, Growers with the Wisconsin Soybean Marketing Board, sponsoring our video coverage tonight. Well, here we go. Buffaloes get the ball back right away. And it's a squib kick. Taken up by an up man at the 35, to the 40, to the 45. That is uh, number 10, it looked like, uh, Brandon Larson. And a uh, nice return. Buffalo's left very good defense. And it'll be at the 49-yard line with 4.03 remaining in our site fourth auction. First quarter tied at 8. Make out, they're going to move it back to the 48 now, okay. So first and 10 for Mondovi as they come up to the line. Lindsay now will wait for the snap. Single wide receiver, or two wide receivers here on the right of the formation. Lindsay keeps it, rolls to his right, looking, 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 throws. It's caught. That is number 10, and he's going to be up to the 41-yard line, Brendan Larson. And uh, in on the stop, number 21, Cole Brenner. Enough for a first down. They officially mark it. Oh, they'll mark it back at the 42, okay? First and 10 for the Buffaloes. As the clock continues to run, 3.50 remaining in the Seiforth Auction first quarter. We're tied at 8.
Buffalo's come to the line. Three wide receivers on the left, one on the right. Lindsay all by himself in the backfield. Lindsay keeps it himself, has to run to his right. Blowing up that play, I want to say number 56 kind of blew that one up. Riley Shad, he blew it up. He was in the backfield like right away. And uh, Lindsay really didn't have too many places to go, so he only gets a couple yards on the play down to the 41. So second down, well, we'll call it only a yard on the play, second down and nine. From the Oriole 41, near hash, Buffalo's to the line. Lindsay waits for the snap, single wide receiver left and right. Wing back on the right of the formation. To Snyder, straight ahead, puts his head down, squirts through, and uh, gets down to the 36 yard line. In on uh, the stop, Gavin Hatfield uh, for the Orioles. Third down here coming up. Call it third and four. Approaching the three minute mark here in the Seifforth auction first quarter. Buffalo's down to the line. Three wide receivers on the right of the formation. Single wide receiver or on the left of the formation and single wide receiver on the right. Lindsay, long snap, hands it off to Snyder. Snyder has to pick his way around, gets around the corner to the 30, and uh, down to the 27-yard line. Flag on the play. I think we're going to have a face mask on Stanley Boyd. Uh, Legrander in on the stop, but I think he caused the face mask as well. Down to the 27-yard uh, line. Oh, they're going to pick it up now. Wow, okay, well. No. Okay, so no flag on the play. They'll pick it up and be done with it. Enough for a first down, though. He's off of the play. He is a first down. Now we have to wait for the chains to move. And so clock running down to 2.34 remaining. First and 10 for the Buffaloes from the 27-yard line. From the near hash now, Lindsay waits for the snap. Single wide receiver left and right. Snyder in the backfield with him. Man goes in motion, hands off to Snyder, straight ahead, puts his head down and crosses the 25 down to the 24 yard line. Back up by number 40, Chase Sturm. And on the uh, stop uh, is uh, number 40, Chase Sturm. Just inside the Oriole 25 yard line. Second down coming up. We'll call it second and seven. Buffalo's to the line. Two wide receivers on the right of the formation here on the near side. Man goes in motion, and it's going to be a handoff, and that is to Sandberg. Sandberg tries to get around the corner, and he does, and uh, he'll be down to about the 21-yard uh, line. Strum in on the stop once again. Third down here coming up in two. We'll call it, and it's just inside the 20 now. Call it the uh, 18 and a quarter yard line. So third and two. Clock approaching the one minute mark. Tied at eight. Lindsay waits for the snap. Good snap. Hand off to Snyder. Straight ahead he goes. Oh, he gets hit right away. That is number 56. Riley Shad, I don't think he got it. They're going to have it at the 17. I think he's short. He's short. Yep. Has to get to the 16 and a half there at the 17. Or just outside the 17. Fourth down coming up. 27 seconds remaining. Now, will they let the clock run out, or do they have enough time to let the and just uh, go to the second quarter, talk this over. Nope, they will not. They have to run a play. Lindsay waiting for the snap. Fourth down. Man in motion. Good snap. Lindsay keeps it himself. 
Gets around one uh, defender. He should have enough for the first down. He does. Taken down at the 15-yard line with two seconds remaining. And that should end our first quarter, our Seiforth Auction first quarter. Oh, wow, they moved him back. Oh, they say it's enough for a first down. Okay. So that'll end our Seiforth Auction first quarter tied at 8. It's uh, Mondovi uh, Buffalo Boys football here on WRDN. WRDN. Let's be honest. Garage sales or Craigslist ads are geared towards getting rid of items that are not so important anymore. But when it's something treasured or the selling of a farm or business, you need something more profitable. Cyforth Auction Services of Mondovi specializes in farm equipment sales, estate sales, dairy and collectible sales. Sellers with online auctions, Cyforth Auction will come to your home to list your items. And buyers never miss an auction. Download the auction app at S-E-Y-F-O-R-T-H auction.com. Cyforth Auction Services, Mondovi. And welcome back uh, to uh, Stanley Boyd High School, Oriole Park, as uh, we go to the second quarter with Mondovi and Stanley Boyd tied at eight. And uh, the Buffaloes have a first down. First and 10 at the uh, Orioles 16 yard line. Buffaloes kicked off uh, the uh, first quarter with a nice long drive. Completed with a touchdown, two point conversion on the ensuing kickoff. Stanley Boyd returned it for a touchdown. Two point conversion good, so that's where we're at. Tied at eight. So first and 10 now for the Buffaloes. As uh, Buffalo's now going from right to left here in this second quarter. Lindsay waiting for the snap. Two wide receivers on the left of the formation from the near hash. Hands off to Snyder. Snyder gets around the corner to the 10, to the 5, stays on his feet, and he'll be uh, down to the 4-yard line. Tackled by Landon Hole. And... Uh, and on the stop, Landon Wold in on the stop for the Orioles. So first and goal for Mondovi from the four-yard line. Lindsay brings him up to the line. Single wide receiver left and right. Snyder in the backfield with him. Out of the shotgun waiting for the snap. Good snap, hands it off. That nope, keeps it himself. Rolls to his right, keeps it, and he'll be in for the touchdown. Lindsay in for the score to make it 14 8. Mondovi. With 11 26 remaining here in our second quarter. So Buffaloes will go for two. Single wide receiver left and right. Lindsay now waiting for the snap with Snyder in the backfield. Lindsay hands it to Snyder straight ahead. No, he throws it over the middle. Oh, wow, a nice catch. I didn't even see that. Totally faked out even me to Austin Remington for the two-point conversion. And uh, with uh, 11.26 remaining here in the second quarter, Mondovi 16, Stanley Boyd 8. Thank you to the Cell Block. They feature a super and salad bar weekdays from 11 to 2. They also have a daily food specials. That's the Cell Block, downtown Duran. Martin Transport Mondovi. Visit their website at martin.com for the latest job opportunities. It's better in blue at Martin Transport. Durand Improvement Group. Many hands make light work. Volunteer to help with community events throughout the year. Visit Durand Improvement Group. Dot org. Ryan Sports Shop. Deer hunters, Ryan's have all of your deer hunting needs. You can visit Ryan Sports Shop downtown Durand. A lot of the fall hunting season starting soon. The bear season started this week, so visit Ryan Sports Shop for all of your fall hunting needs. And Anibis Silo, your coyote tractor dealer and your tor Toro lawn mower dealer as well. Now, Highway 25 Durand. Please thank all of our sponsors. They make our broadcast possible. Give them a call, drop them an email, visit their business and tell them thank you for supporting our broadcasts here on WRTN. Without their support, pretty simple, we wouldn't be here in Stanley Boyd tonight. 
We wouldn't be at Carson Park tomorrow for the Durand Arkansas game, so please thank all of our sponsors for supporting our broadcast. So the Buffaloes to kick it off. Uh, they are probably not wanting to give up a touchdown here in the kickoff. Sixteen eight, Mondovi leads. Eleven twenty six remaining in the second quarter, and line drive kick this time, and it'll be taken at the eighteen yard line to the twenty to the twenty five, and uh, slowing him up, and he'll get to close to the thirty yard line. It's like the very first contact was made by number nine, and that would have been Hunter Sandberg. So the Orioles will take over at about the thirty yard line. We're going to call it. Let's see. That's where they officially mark it. Just inside the 30, first and 10. Number 12, Carter Reisenberger is the quarterback for the Orioles. Two wide receivers will be on the uh, right of the formation and two wide receivers to the left. So spread offense out of the shotgun. Man comes in motion. Low snap. Quick throw. We're going deep. And pass intended for number six, Madden Marr, incomplete. Incomplete pass by number 12, Eisenberger. Second and 10. No huddle offense here by the Orioles. Out of the shotgun once again. Spread offense. Eisenberger waits for the snap. Good snap, hands it off. Oh, no, it's going to be a pitch back the other way, but that's not going to work either. Oh, nice play, number six, and that is uh, Porter Bauer blowing up that play. And it was handed off for pitch to back uh, to Clutch, and he lost yardage back to the 25, third and 15. Back to pass is Eisenberger. Rolls to his left, throws deep, and it's going to be caught. That should be enough for a first down caught by Clutch. Oh, he might be short. Uh-oh. It's fourth down. He is short. Oh, boy. I thought he had it. They're going to go for it, though. Spread offense. Eisenberger hands it off, and he's going to be. It's going to be enough for a first down. First down and uh, that was Legrander with the first down. First and ten again. Hurry up offense by the Orioles. Low snap, fumble on the snap. Who's got it? I think the the Buffaloes have it. And it is recovered by Mondovi, and uh, that is going to be Remington, Austin Remington with the recovery, and so the Buffaloes in business at the 39-yard line. With 10.43 remaining in the quarter and Mondovi leading 16-8, that could be the danger of a hurry-up offense. And so now the Buffaloes in business. They come to the line, Lindsay now. Out of the shotgun, two wide receivers, single wide receiver, left and right. Snyder in the backfield with Lindsey, out of the shotgun. Lindsey, to, nope, play action. He's going deep, and it's going to be nearly caught. Oh, going for Denton LaSalle. Nice uh, coverage, though, uh, by Hudawanek. Covered by Carson Hudawan. And so it'll be second and ten. Well, you know, you gotta, you got to try that at least every now and then. Otherwise, they start stacking the line if you never want to try to throw it deep. So second and 10 from the 39. Single wide receiver, left and right. Lindsey waiting for the snap. Man comes in motion in Sandberg. Hands it to Sandberg. Jet sweep to the right, crosses the 40, crosses the 35. And uh, oh, they'll officially mark him on the 35-yard line. In on the stop, number 50, Storm Terry. And so third down here coming up. Third and six, we'll call it, from the Oriole 35. Four down territory for the Buffaloes. Clock running down to 10 minutes remaining here in the second quarter. Mondovi leads 16-8. Buffaloes to the line now. Lindsay waits for the snap. Has Snyder in the backfield with him. 
Man comes in motion in Sandberg. And play action. Lindsay rolls to his left this time. Here comes the rush. He's going to keep it himself. He crosses the 30. He stays on his feet to the 25. He's down to the 20. And in on the stop, number 21, and that would have been Cole Brenner. First and 10 for the Buffaloes at the 20 yard line. Mondovi trying to capitalize on the fumble from Stanley Boyd. Lindsay now up to the uh, line. Single wide receiver, left and right. Snyder in the backfield waiting for the snap. Good snap. Hand off to Snyder. Straight ahead. Gets hit right away. Bounces off the uh, tackler, though, and uh, crosses the 20. Tries to push the pile forward. And on the ta uh, tackle, Williams was in on the stop and uh, down to the just inside the 17-yard line. So second down and seven. As uh, the uh, Buffaloes now come to the line. Lindsay waiting for the snap. Single wide receiver left and right. Lindsay, play action, throws, caught. That is uh, number 10, that is Larson. Larson gets down to close to the first down. He'll be a little bit short, just outside the 10 yard line. Brenner in on the stop. They're gonna officially mark it right at the 11, they'll call it. So third and one. They'll be at the uh, far hash. As uh, the Buffaloes come to the line, Lindsay out of the shotgun once again. Single wide receiver, left and right. Snyder in the backfield, waiting for the snap. And it's going to be Lindsay himself. Keeps it himself, gets hit right away, keeps the feet moving, crosses the 10. I think he's got enough. Chase Sturm in on the stop, but they're going to mark it. Uh, it Yep, inside the 10. That's enough for a first down. So first and goal for the Buffaloes. So from the far hash, clock down to 7.45 remaining in the second quarter. Mondovi leads 16-8. Join us for our Jerry Thompson Insurance Agency and Security Financial Bank uh, halftime show. We're going to be talking with uh, Mondovi School Superintendent uh, uh, Jeff Rickle. Had a chance to chat with him, so we're going to get an update on some of the things going on in the Mondovi School District. That coming up during our halftime show. And whistling a timeout, Mondovi, their second timeout. Hello, so timeout, Mondovi with the 7.23 remaining. And Mondovi leading 16-8. Thank you to the Goodrich Funeral Home of Durand, your authorized location for monuments from Lifetime Memorials. Call Goodrich Funeral Home for more information. SFB, Security Financial Bank, where electronic banking is easy. 212 West Prospect Street, Durand. Advent Health of Durand, time to feel whole with Advent Health. Visit adventhealth.com for more information. Sundstrom & Company, your local tax experts. Call them now for end-of-year tax planning, 672-4425 to schedule that appointment. Shaw's Gas, your answer for clean, cost-effective for propane for your home energy needs. That's Shaw's Gas, downtown Durand. And Entech, your premier communications and entertainment provider, Durand. Please thank all of our high school sports sponsors as they make our broadcasts uh, possible here on WRDN. Give our sponsors a call, drop them an email, visit their business, and tell them thank you for supporting these broadcasts because without their help and their support and their sponsorship, we would not be here tonight in Stanley Boyd or tomorrow up at Carson Park for the Durand-Arkansas-Regis football game tomorrow morning. So please thank our sponsors. They make these broadcasts possible. So first and goal for the Buffaloes from just inside the Oriole 10-yard line. Lindsay waits for the snap. Good snap and a handoff to Snyder. Picks his way through, crosses the five, stays on his feet, touchdown. Wow, what a nice run by Peyton Snyder for the touchdown. Resulting in a Mondovi touchdown. 22-8 now, Buffaloes lead. And they'll go for two. Oh. 
Buffaloes come to the line. Lindsay now waiting for the snap out of the shotgun. Single wide receiver left and right. Snyder with him in the backfield. Play action to Snyder. Lindsay throws, and it's going to be incomplete. Overthrew it, or threw just outside of the reach of uh, Denton LaSalle, and so it will make it 22-8. Mondovi leads with 7-18 remaining here in the second quarter. And again, coming up, our Jerry Thompson Insurance Agency and Security Financial Bank halftime show. Again, we will talk with uh, Mondovi School Superintendent uh, Jeff Rickle. Get an update on uh, some things going on with the Mondovi School District, including the new electric buses. That uh, the that work is being done right now in the charging station. So we're going to chat with uh, Mr. Rickle about that and some other things going on in Mondovi. And so the Buffaloes will kick it away. With 7.18 remaining here in the second quarter and Mondovi leading 22 to eight. Both these teams are three and zero overall and one and zero in the Clover Belt Conference. All right, here we go. And it's going to be right on the ground. It's going to be, it's a loose ball. That's a free ball. I think that's Mondovi's ball. That is a free ball, and they recover it. Number five, Stanley Boyd just kind of let it sit there. Zachary Morrow recovers the, the ball. That's a live ball on a kickoff. It's, it's a Buffalo ball. So another mistake by Stanley Boyd and a turnover, and then the Buffaloes will... Stay on offense. And so Mondovi now comes to the line. Lindsay brings them to the line. Single wide receiver left and right from the near hash. Mondovi trying to blow this game open. Lindsay now waiting for the snap. Good snap. Hands off to uh, Snyder. Snyder gets hit right away. He's lucky to maybe get back to the line of scrimmage. Uh, blowing up that play, number 56, Riley Shad. Yeah, just totally blew that play up. And they're going to say he got back to the line of scrimmage. Second down and 10. So Buffalo's now to the line. Single wide receiver left and right. Lindsay waiting for the snap. Lindsay, play action. He throws, going deep. Oh, he had a man wide open, overthrew him. Oh, boy, he had Bra uh, Braden Larson open. That would have been a touchdown. Oh, boy. Third and 10 coming up. So third and 10 now. Well, four down territory here for the Buffaloes, definitely. But boy, you'd really like to capitalize on this turnover. So, Mondovi the line. Two wide receivers now on the uh, right of the formation from the near hash once again. Lindsay out of the shotgun. Snyder waiting for the snap from the Oriole 30. Play action. Lindsay looking. Now he throws. It's going to be caught. And that's going to be enough for a first down. That's Remington. Remington run out of bounds down at the 13-yard line. Tackled by number two, number two Williams. Alex Williams forcing him out of bounds, but enough for a Mondovi first down. Down to the 13-yard line on the far hash. First and 10. Clock stopped at 6.30 remaining in the quarter. Mondovi leading 22-8. Lindsay now brings the Buffaloes to the line. 
Two wide receivers on the left of the formation. From the far hash, Lindsay out of the shotgun. Snyder waits for the snap. Man comes in motion. And it's going to be Lindsay back to pass. Throws. It's caught right away by Snyder, but nice play by Williams. Totally blew that up. Going to be a loss back to the 16-yard line. Williams in on the stop. Trying to set up the screen. That did not work. Call it second down and 12 now. As clock continues to run, under six minutes remaining here in the second quarter. 22-8, Mondovi leads, second and 12 from the Orioles' 16. Lindsay waits for the snap. Good snap, play action. Throws it, caught. Oh, incomplete. Incomplete pass. It's not a uh, backward pass, so that would be incomplete. Third down and 12 coming up. Broken up by number three, Landon Hole. Broken up uh, by uh, Landon Hole. And so now, third down and 12 coming up from the 16. This would be a big momentum swing if uh, Stanley Boyd can. Pull off the defensive stand. Lindsay now waiting for the snap. Single wide receiver left and right. Lindsay, play action, keeps it himself, rolls to his left, to the 15, to the 10, puts his head down inside the 10. He'll be well short of the first down, but makes the fourth down uh, much more manageable. It'll be fourth and five, we'll call it, from the nine-yard line. So fourth down now for the Buffaloes. Stanley Boyd trying to make the defensive stand after the uh, mistake on the kickoff. Gave a very short field for Mondovi. Timeout, Mondovi. Mondovi calls timeout with 5.31 remaining here in the uh, second quarter, and Mondovi leading 22 to eight. So thank you to our sponsors, including Entech, your premier communications and entertainment provider, Durand, and the Summer Fitness and Tanning. With around-the-clock fitness and tanning access, Durand, the Jerry Thompson Insurance Agency, hometown agents representing you, not individual insurance companies, and Jerry Bear and Sons with custom-made feed for livestock from Hubbard Feeds, located by Anibis Silo, Highway 25, Durand. Please thank all of our sponsors. They make our broadcast possible here on WRDN. Give our sponsors a call, drop them an email. Better yet, visit their business and tell them thank you for supporting our broadcast because without their help, uh, we would not be able to bring you tonight's game here on WRDN or also on our YouTube channel as well. Our streaming audio being brought to you tonight by Prime Realty of Durand and Adam Super Service of Durand. And our streaming video is being brought to you by the Wisconsin Soybean Marketing Board, Wisconsin Soybean Growers. All right, so fourth and five now from the nine. Lindsey brings the Buffaloes to the line. Waiting for the snap, man comes in motion. Lindsey, jet sweep. It's gonna be a throw though. Oh, and it's gonna be short. It, they had him open, oh man. Sandberg had the receiver open, just under through it. A great, uh, nice design, but Incomplete, and uh, Stanley Boyd will take over at their own nine-yard line, so the defense holds for the Orioles. Well, here we go. Now we'll go up with that uh, high-speed offense. Well, time to put your seatbelt on. Here we go as uh, Eisenberger now waits for the snap. Spread offense. Man comes in motion, and it's going to be a handoff. That's to the up back. And uh, tackled right at the 10-yard line. In on the stop, number 55, Ethan Otgard. And uh, so a gain of maybe a half a yard, second down, and nine. Isengard will hand it off again. And uh, this time squirting through, crossing the 15, number 17, Jake Lagrander. 
And now uh, third down here coming up. Isinger, and he throws. It's going to be caught, enough for a first down. Caught uh, by Marr. And on the stop uh, is uh, Remington. First and 10 from the 20-yard uh, line. Like I said, this will be really fast. Here we go. So first and 10, we'll call it at the 21-yard uh, line. Eisenberger waits for the snap out of the shotgun. Hands it off. And uh, this time it's going to be a pitch back. And uh, that's to number seven to Carlin. Carlin into the open field, crosses the 30 to the 35. And he'll be up to the 39-yard line. Make it the 30. They're going to move it back 37. So first and 10 for the Orioles. Again, hurry up offense continues. Eisenberger now waits for the snap. Man comes in motion. And it's going to be a handoff. Jet sweep to the right. That's number 83. There's nowhere to go because he's, there's all the Buffaloes waiting for him. And it's going to be a loss. In on the uh, stop is uh, Lindsey and also number six, uh, Bauer. No gain on the play, we'll call it. Carried by Kletch. Second down and 10. Eisenberger waits for the snap. Spread offense again. Man comes in motion. And it's going to be handoff. Straight ahead to hit right away. And making the initial hit was Hunter Sandberg. And a gain up to about the 38-yard line. Third down coming up. Eisenberger waits for the snap. Again, spread offense. Good snap. Back to pass as Eisenberg rolls to his left. Looking, looking. Now he throws. It's going to be caught. Oh, no, not caught. Overthrown. Pass intended for number seven, Carlin. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Okay, now are they going to punt? Now we need a ball. All right. So fourth down. Well, Mondovi's uh, playing as no punt here. All right. Now they get into punt formation. Okay, now Snyder and uh, Lindsay back deep. Good snap, high floating kick. Lindsay says everybody get away from it. And it's going to take an Oriole roll down to the 17-yard uh, line, and that's where Mondovi takes over with 3.36 remaining, and the Buffaloes leading 22-6 here in this second quarter. Thank you to Riverland Energy, your Touchstone Energy partner. Also, the Chet Fitzsmith Funeral Home of Mondovi. Find out about pre-planning funeral services. Call 926-3630 or visit chetfit-smithfuneralhome.com and Bauerbilt Tire. Let Bauerbilt take care of your automotive needs under one roof. Give them a call at 672-8300 or find them online at bauerbilt.com. Please thank all of our sponsors. They make our broadcast possible here on WRDN. Give our sponsors a call, drop them an email, visit their business, and tell them thank you for supporting these broadcasts. So Lindsey brings the Buffaloes to the line now. Single wide receiver left and right. Snyder in the backfield with Lindsey. And it's going to be handoff to Snyder. Straight ahead we go. Gets hit right away. And uh, in on the stop is uh, going to be Poole. Really no gain on the play, second down and 10. Clock continuing to run, approaching the 310 mark. Again, Mondovi leading 22 to eight. Buffalo's now come to the line. Lindsay waiting for the snap. Single wide receiver left and right. Good snap, handoff, nope, fake uh, play action. Lindsay keeps it himself. Runs around to the 20, gets around the corner up to the 25 on the right side. Third down here coming up. Call it third and two now from the far hash. Beautiful night here in Stanley Boyd. Again, our Security Financial Bank and Jerry Thompson Insurance Agency halftime show coming up. Chatting with uh, Mondovi Superintendent uh, Jeff Rickle. So stick around for that. Third and two now. Lindsay waits for the snap. Single wide receiver left and right. Hands off to Snyder. Straight ahead we go. He has it up for the first down. Crosses the 30 up to the 34. So first and 10 now for the Buffaloes. Host of uh, Orioles made that tackle. Approaching the two-minute mark. 
Mondovi has no timeouts remaining, by the way. So Buffalo's still aligned now. Single wide receiver, left and right. Lindsay and Snyder waiting for the snap in the backfield. Lindsay hands it off to Snyder. Straight ahead we go. Crosses the 35, up to the 40, crosses the 40. Be down at the, about the 41 yard line. And in on the stop is Hole. Well, officially mark it right at the 40 yard line. Second down here coming up. Second and three, we'll call it. Again, Buffaloes have no timeouts. We're approaching 126 remaining in the half. Buffaloes to the line now. Lindsay waiting for the snap. Single wide receiver left and right. Good snap. Play action. Lindsay. Now he's got to take it down as the blitz was on. And sack. And uh, making the tackle was Terry. Timeout, Stanley Boyd. So Stanley Boyd wants a timeout. Third down now and uh, nine coming up with a minute five remaining. And again, Buffalo's leading 22 to eight. Buffalo's would now want to at least get the first down. Uh, we have an update on uh, the Elmwood Plum City leading Kadat 6 0 that at halftime. Okay, thank you, Nicole, for that update. Again, we have our Jerry Thompson Insurance Agency and Security Financial Bank halftime show coming up. We're we'll talking with uh, Mondovi Superintendent uh, Jeff Rickle. That's uh, on the way. All right, so Lindsay now waiting for the snap. Third down and nine from the 34. Lindsay back to pass. Gets a nice block. Throws it deep, and it's going to be throw over throws everybody. Pass intended for uh, Denton LaSalle on the far sideline. Incomplete pass, and so Mondovi now will have to punt. Still a minute remaining. Snyder to do the kicking. Low snap. Here comes the rush. Gets the ball kick, kick away, though. Takes a Mondovi bounce. Out of bounds at the 37-yard line, and that is where Stanley Boyd will take over with 56 seconds remaining. Again, they do this hurry-up offense, so... That's plenty of time for them. Mondovi leading 22-8. to eight. Now Stanley Boyd is to get the uh, ball as well to start the second half. All right, so Orioles come out from the far hash now, first and 10. Eisenberger now will... Be out of the shotgun. Again, we'll do the spread offense. Trips left on the far side. Low snap, Eisenberg back to pass. Here comes the rush. They're going to get him. Down he goes. And with the sack, number 15, and that was Austin Remington. Timeouts. And a loss back to the 26-yard line. Timeout, Stanley Boyd with 49 seconds remaining. And Mondovi leading 22 to 8. You're listening to Mondovi uh, Boys Football here on Real Country 1430 AM Stereo, WRDN, Durant Mondovi Wabasha, and 1073 FM Translator, W297CH Durand. Brian Winnikins with you from Oriole Park in Stanley this evening on a beautiful Friday evening with Mondovi leading 22 to 8, 49 seconds remaining here in our first half. 
Again, we have our uh, Jerry Thompson Insurance Agency and Security Financial Bank halftime show coming up. And we're going to be talking with uh, Mondovi School Superintendent uh, Jeff Rickle. Get an update on some of the things going on with the school district, including the new electric buses. Find out a little bit more about that here coming up during our halftime show. So second down and 21 now from the 26. Eisenberger waiting for the snap. Spread offense again. Good snap. Eisenberger quick throw, and it's going to be caught. And it's going to be caught on the far side. Caught by number 21, uh, Brenner, for a gain of a couple. Third down here coming up, 39 seconds remaining up to the 30-yard line. Third down. Again, Mondovi can't stop the clock, so back to pass now is Eisenberger. Short pass caught at the uh, 30 to the 35, out of bounds to the 40. Going to be short, though. Now that actually helps Mondovi uh, as uh, Clutch run out of bounds by number 42, uh, Hunter Wick. So the... It's fourth down now. You're going to have to actually, 26 seconds remaining, you're going to have to punt this. <clears throat> I mean, it's it's fourth down and at least six. They're going for it. Wow. Fourth and six still. If they don't get it, Mondovi will have a chance at it. Eisenberger going deep on the post. It's going to be caught, and that could be a touchdown, and it is. Wow. <laughs> Well, they gambled on fourth down. Madden Marr with the touchdown on the post. And it's 22-14, Mondovi. With 18 seconds remaining. Here in the first half. Wow, a quick strike by the Orioles. They can get within six now with a two-point conversion. I would have thought they had punted it, but all right. They caught uh, Mondovi a little bit flat-footed on the defense. I think Mondovi was thinking another short pass. Good snap, and that's uh, number seven. Doesn't get the first or the two-point conversion. Nice play, as uh, that was Carlin, but nice play uh, by uh, Porter Bauer to prevent the two-point conversion. So it's still an eight-point Mondovi lead, 22-14 with. 18 seconds remaining here in the first half. So a little bit of fireworks here. We're going to see if that defensive stand from earlier here in the second quarter that uh, Stanley Boyd was able to pull off, if that comes back to hurt Mondovi. Because Mondovi had that first down at the 30-yard line after the muff on the uh, kickoff and could not convert that. Had they converted that, they would have made it at least 28-8. But instead, we have 22-14. So Stanley Boyd will kick it away. of a pooch type kick it'll go out of bounds so no time off the clock goes out of bounds and uh, Mondovi will get it I think at the 35 so first and 10 for the Buffaloes 18 seconds remaining and we'll see if they want to try and answer on that touchdown with a quick strike of their own So Buffalo's now to the line. Lindsay waits for the snap. Three wide receivers on the right of the formation. Lindsay back to pass. Keeps it himself. He gets hit right away. Down he goes. He's sacked. Tried to step up. Couldn't do it. In on the stop. Number 50 is Storm Teary with the sack. Seven seconds remaining. I think that's going to wrap it up. I think Mondovi will let the clock run out. That is what they are going to do. 
And we are at halftime. At halftime with Mondovi leading by a score of 22 to 14 over Stanley Boyd. You're listening to Mondovi Boys Football here on WRDN. Time for the SFB Security Financial Bank and the Jerry Thompson Insurance Agency Halftime Show. Brought to you by Security Financial Bank. Secure your future at Security Financial Bank, Durand, River Falls, Eau Claire, Ladysmith, Bloomer, and Black River Falls. And by the Jerry Thompson Insurance Agency, your independent insurance agent, downtown Durand. Folding a fitted sheet. Programming the thermostat. Matching your socks. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with an auto owner's insurance independent agent, getting the right coverage for your home doesn't have to be one of them. So you can get back to more important things, like finding that missing sock. That's simple human sense. Your hometown auto owner's insurance agent's working for you. The Jerry Thompson Insurance Agency, downtown Durand. As Security Financial Bank, we understand what it takes to grow what matters. We know success doesn't happen overnight. It takes honest work day in and day out. We value trust, leadership, and service. We are SFB, bankers who believe in your business, your family, your future. Bankers who believe in you. Learn more at sfbank.com. Member FDIC. Welcome back uh, to the Jerry Thompson Insurance Agency and Security Financial Bank Halftime Show being brought to you by Jerry Thompson Insurance and uh, Security Financial Bank in Durand. Halftime of uh, this evening's uh, Mondovi Stanley Boyd boys football game. And uh, joining us right now is uh, Mondovi Schools Superintendent uh, Jeff Reichel, Reichel rather, and uh, Mr. Reichel, uh, thanks for joining us uh, this morning. Kind of get an update on some of the things going on with the, the Mondovi School District uh, today. I guess first, tell us about the electric buses. I saw a post recently. There's some a charging station being made. Absolutely. Uh, last year, we had the uh, ability to apply for an EPA clean school bus grant uh, that's through the federal government. And we were able to get five uh, brand new uh, Bluebird electric buses, uh, same size. They, they're going to look just like our other buses, um, but they are electric. And uh, we got those um, essentially for free uh, through that program. So uh, we were awarded approximately $2 million for the project. That included the purchase of the buses as well as the charging stations. Uh, we do have to work with Excel Energy. Um, our transportation director, Shelly Teigen, has done an amazing job of coordinating the whole process and working with Tim Bartles from Excel Energy to help us get the cost down. Uh, originally, we thought the installation of the electrical was going to run closer to $100,000 for us in order to get the, the infrastructure in place. And uh, through rebates, and changes down at the state level in terms of uh, total cost is down to uh, approximately $13,000 for us to get five brand new buses. Uh, so it's great, great opportunity for the district. So, so now have the buses been delivered yet or are you waiting until, will they come after you get the charging station? Yeah, we have to have the charging infrastructure in place. Otherwise, we have no way to uh, power them up. Uh, so once the uh, electrical's in place and we have that going in this week, uh, we're hoping to get the buses sometime in October. Wow. Okay. So then are they just going to be used on city of Mondovi routes or will you be able to go throughout the whole district with these things? Uh, there's certain routes that uh, we will put those buses on. And so when we had to do kind of an assessment of all of our routes and we have uh, at least five routes that have 35 miles or less per route. Uh, so that'd be in the AM, um, 35 miles in the PM. And so these buses are rated to go 130 miles 
uh, on a charge. And so I know th- there's some question as to like what that's going to look like in the winter time, and or if we have extreme heat in the summer, if we're doing summer school, are we going to get that full charge out of it? Uh, but really, what we're looking at right now is trying to get about 70 miles out of it uh, during the day, so that we can charge at night and uh, hopefully pay some cheaper electrical rates at night uh, to have those things charged. Talking with uh, Mondovi School Superintendent uh, Jeff Rickle uh, this evening uh, at halftime of our Mondovi Stanley Boyd boys football game. So uh, we're underway for school here. Uh, it's what I guess second week of school because the Mondovi was like Durand, Arkansas, able to start before uh, Labor Day, still using the old COVID waivers. Now there's some talk about maybe changing that and making it more permanent. I know that Mr. Dover Spike, is, as he said, I'm kind of an old school guy. I like starting before Labor Day to get out by Memorial Day for Mondovi. Is, is it more convenient to start before Labor Day? It is. When we look at it, uh, really, we have kids in the building starting August 1st. That's when football starts, right? Volleyball starts shortly thereafter. So from a a high school standpoint, uh, again, in the past when we couldn't start until September 1, we had a whole month of kids in the building already. And, uh, you know, I think a lot of, uh, whether it's from a kid's standpoint or even a parent standpoint, by mid-August, they're ready to get back to school. And so um, I certainly support any efforts to uh, change that down at the state level and, and get rid of that all. Uh, September 1st start date. What are some of the other things going on here at the district as schools? I Like Mr. Doverspike had said, you know, you're in the building during the summer and it kind of gets really kind of borderline creepy with nobody else in here. So what... <laughs> What are some of the things going on with the district as as we get back into the school? Well, we actually had a great summer school uh, program. We had probably over 300 kids enrolled in our summer school program. So it wasn't uh, wasn't too lonely in here during the summer, but it is nice to get the kids back in the building. Uh, We did have uh, quite a bit of staff turnover. We had probably 12 uh, teaching staff that we replaced over the summer, so it was pretty busy. Had another five support staff, a couple of bus drivers. Um, You know, we have a brand new elementary uh, principal, Angie Barrios, who's uh, coming to us from Elk Mound School District actually was a fifth grade teacher there. Uh, So we're excited for some of the things that she's going to do for us at the elementary. Talking with uh, Mondovi School Superintendent uh, Jeff Rickle uh, this evening during our halftime show. Mr. Rickle, I know one of the things that Mondovi has done, and and you work a lot as well, with Durand, Arkansas and some of the other local school districts to provide training and and classes and things like the the manufacturing academy and things like that is that something you're hoping to continue to expand we are. Uh, we're trying to partner as much as we can with the CVTC as well as some neighboring school districts to provide those. So, um, you know, one of the things that we've been working on the past couple of years is working with Osseo Fairchild uh, School District very closely. Uh, we have converted our schedule, at the, particularly at the high school level, uh, so that our schedule matches exactly. Our bell schedules are the same so that if we have kids that need to come over here to take classes, uh, they can do so. We even have built-in time during lunch and a, a homeroom so that there's enough time for them to travel from one place to the other uh, and pick up those courses if they can. Uh, But yeah, the academies are amazing. I know Osseo Fairchild has some great things going on over there with their new tech ed building. We're hoping to start to capitalize on that here as well. Uh, Again, working through CVTC, uh, we we do have a ton of kids that walk out of here with college credits, um, you know, through CVTC when they graduate. And I think this year we look, I think we're looking at uh, four or five kids that may graduate with an associate's degree uh, before they even get out of high school. Wow. Wow. That's some huge savings too for, for the families and the kids. Absolutely. Uh, and CVTC has done a nice job of working with us where um, they have actually put in for grants. So the uh, Department of Workforce Development um, had provided them a grant, which basically cut the tuition down in half. So, you know, a, a student here could go to CVTC and get a full boat of classes and really at a minimal cost. Talking with uh, Mondovi School Superintendent uh, Jeff Rickle this morning. One of the things in, in talking with really all of the area superintendents as well, and I'm sure you're you're involved with this this as well or have the same is winter winter time and, and school closings and how do you do it and how does it come up and of course now we have this remote learning from the the, the pandemic uh, you know depending on the internet but you know how is the district kind of moving forward with that I know that some of the districts like Durand Arkansas there's still something to be said about 
no, oh, let's just give the kids a snow day and have Brian tell them it's a snow day. They, they, there's still something to be said for that. Absolutely. Um, you know, before I took this job, I used to love winter. And uh, <laughs> now, having been in the position a few years, I just kind of dread winter because it's like you don't sleep well on those nights when you're up and, and you're out driving the roads at 4 in the morning, you know, trying to make that tough decision as to whether you bring kids in and whether it's safe or not. So, so that's really tough. Uh, as far as the... Well, the online learning in the uh, days, there's a lot of school districts around us that have decided to do that. Um, Mondovi has kind of taken the stance that, you know, we do prefer that kids actually utilize that snow day as kind of a mental health break for themselves. Um, so we have not gone down the road of trying to do any online learning during those days. We do have plenty of instructional time built into our calendar so that uh, I think even last year with the number of days that we had, we really did not have to make anything up. We didn't have to change our schedule. We were a-okay doing that. And again, just one of those things where I look at it uh, and the staff, we've talked with the staff as well about it. And th- You know, generally, after you do that online learning, when the kids come back, you're reteaching it again anyway. So um, because either half of them didn't do it at all or they didn't understand it when they were at home by themselves. And so honestly, just getting them into the classroom is more valuable than trying to do that online learning. Talking with uh, Mondovi School Superintendent uh, Jeff Rickle this morning. Mr. Rickle, school districts have uh, a really bizarre budget. Um, Your your budget year starts in July uh, and and. You, you don't get your num you don't get your numbers until October from the state or September October. You have to wait with the the student count and all of that. It's a real weird situation. But I know for a lot of the districts, some of the changes at, at the state level hopefully are going to make things easier this year because we we have some of this increased funding. Well, you're exactly right. I mean, every year we are functioning under a budget from uh, July 1 until the end of October. And they're, honestly, we're working through a budget that doesn't even exist, right? So we're, we're spending money on things that we, we hope we can afford and we're, we don't have our, um, our, our uh, property valuations and stuff don't even come in until October. So trying to set that budget is really impossible until that time. So uh, it is a strange situation. But, you know, what the state did this uh, past year, you know, in terms of increasing that, uh, oh, the low revenue ceiling for us for, by $1,000, as well as uh, the the per pupil increase of, of 325 per student, um, really has helped us out. It's going to get us through the next two years. Uh, without that, uh, had we gotten frozen again, we were going to be looking at a uh, operating referendum that we would have had to run this April and um, and hopefully passed it before the next school year. Otherwise, we would have been in trouble. Is, is there concerns? You know, looking at how they did this, you know, and I was really kind of taken aback that a public school student, at least in Durand, Arkansas, a public school student's worth $1,000, but a private or voucher kid is worth I think it was uh, 1100 or, or or more than that. I mean, it, it just, something didn't seem right. It, did that happen with Mondovi? Absolutely. Um, you know, I would agree with Mr. Dover Spike from Duran that, you know, it, it is odd when you look at it. Why is, a, why is a public school student worth less than a private or a private charter school uh, student? Um, it makes no sense to me. Um, I do think that that was some uh, finagling from the uh, state level to, you know, get that budget to go through. I mean, I, I understand that uh, Governor Evers had to sign in, in on that, and that was probably uh, something he had to give in on, but it doesn't really make a lot of sense and, quite honestly, makes a lot of people upset. Talking with uh, Mondovi School Superintendent uh, Mr. Uh, Jeff Rickle this evening. Finally, uh, Superintendent, what are, you know, are you, are you excited? Are, are the kids pretty excited here for this upcoming school year? And a lot of, you know, the new building, I mean, the building's not brand new, but I mean, still a lot of new things in the building and that sort of thing? Absolutely. I think the kids came right in just excited for the year. Um, you know, obviously you see the, the, the excitement level changes from elementary, <laughs> middle, and high school. Uh, you know, but honestly, we've got right back into the routine this year. It didn't take very long and the, the kids are back. They're, they're learning and having fun while they're at it. That is uh, Mondovi School Superintendent uh, Jeff Rickle. We are at halftime, and we have third quarter action uh, coming up. It's uh, Mondovi uh, Boys Football here on WRDN. Folding a fitted sheet, programming the thermostat, matching your socks. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with an auto owner's insurance independent agent... 
getting the right coverage for your home doesn't have to be one of them. So you can get back to more important things, like finding that missing sock. That's simple human sense. Your hometown auto owners insurance agents working for you. The Jerry Thompson Insurance Agency, downtown Durand. As Security Financial Bank, we understand what it takes to grow what matters. We know success doesn't happen overnight. It takes honest work day in and day out. We value trust, leadership, and service. We are SFB, bankers who believe in your business, your family, your future. Bankers who believe in you. Learn more at sfbank.com. Member FDIC. ABC. A strike that could affect the U.S. economy is possibly next Thursday. Members of the United Auto Workers Union rejected GM and Stellantis' latest proposal. That means more negotiations. UAW President Sean Fain. A 14.5% increase over four years is deeply inadequate. The Auto Workers Union demands a 40% increase in pay, the same as company presidents, a 32-hour work week, and the return of traditional pensions. It's a month since the deadly Maui wildfires, marking progress since then. Hawaii Governor Josh Green has received assurances of continued federal support and investment to help West Maui recover and rebuild. And we will support and care for the survivors of this disaster for as long as it takes. Hurricane Lee's rip currents and big waves on the East Coast are possible later next coast are possible later next week, said the forecasters. The new flu vaccine that's been used in South America. homework to check and lunches to pack and of course you're already late for work luckily there's pepto kids new pepto kids gummies helps relieve occasional stomach upsets turning those three words into these three words i feel better bad time for stomach upsets good time for new pepto kids gummies fast support for little tummies these statements have not been evaluated by the food and drug administration this product is not intended to diagnose treat cure or prevent any disease ew gotta get rid of this old backstreet boys t-shirt tell me why because it stinks boys tell me why. I've washed it so many times but the odor won't come out. Tell me why. No, you tell me why I can't get rid of this odor. Have you tried new Downy Rinse and Refresh? It doesn't just cover up odors. It helps remove them. Wow, it worked, guys. Yeah. Downy Rinse and Refresh removes more odor in one wash than the leading value detergent in three washes. Find it wherever you buy laundry products. The real deals from Durand to Fresh Market can now be found online. Visit freshmarketwi.com and sign up to have weekly ad alerts sent right to your inbox. Find principal national coupons and learn even more ways to save by signing up for the Duran Fresh Market Text Club. Looking for new recipes? FreshMarketWI.com has over 5,000 recipes to explore and to try out. Have a suggestion or a product request? You can make it online. Your hometown grocery store is Duran Fresh Market, downtown Duran, and now online at FreshMarketWI.com. Welcome back uh, to uh, Stanley Boyd as uh, we wrap up our uh, halftime with uh, Mondovi leading 22 to 14. Uh, some scores from our Duran Fresh Market scoreboard. Menominee leading Chippewa Falls 20 to 7 at halftime. Spring Valley over Colfax 23 to nothing at halftime. Wabasha Kellogg leading Hayfield 25 8 at halftime. Hudson and River Falls tied at 20 at halftime. New Richmond leading Memorial 15 to 7. That at halftime. Prescott over Somerset 21 14 at half. Red Wing over Pine Island 13 to 8 in the second quarter. And uh, Elmwood Plum City was also leading over uh, Kadat as well. That uh, at uh, the uh, halftime. Uh, let's see, uh, Baldwin Woodville uh, leading Ellsworth 35 0 at half, and St. Croix Central leaving, leading Osceola 42 0 at half as well. So uh, those are the scores that we have on our Duran Fresh Market scoreboard. Duran Fresh Market, uh, your hometown grocery store. Again, Elmwood Plum City was leading Kadat 6 0 at halftime. All right, we are ready to go for our second half. Stanley Boyd to get the ball to start this second half. They will be going from left to right. Mondovi right to left in this third quarter. All right, so away we go. 
Line drive kick taken at the uh, 32 yard line. Oh, it's going to be uh, downed right at the 33. Uh, runner was on his knees, so that's automatically down. 33 yard line, first and 10 for the Orioles. And here comes that hurry up offense. Eisenberger will bring the Orioles to the line. Spread offense, trips right. Here on the near side, single wide receiver on the left. Man goes in motion. And it's gonna be uh, a pitch back over to uh, number uh, 83, Kletch, and he'll be uh, taken down at about the uh, 31 yard line in on the stop, number 42, Hunter Wick. Lost back to the 41. So loss of a couple, second down and 12. From the 41, again, trips right again. Eisenberger waits for the snap, and he's going to keep it himself. Now he fakes the pitch, and he, then he wanted to pitch, and he couldn't do it. There's a fumble. Fumble, on the fumble and it's the Mondovi ball. So the uh, Buffaloes force another turnover and will take over at the 32-yard line. So this is the third turn turnover for the Buffaloes here. Tonight. Well, now Mondovi's got to cash in. Last time they had it first and 10 at the 30. All right, so Mondovi to the line now. Lindsay waits for the snap. Single wide receiver left and right. Good snap. Hand off to Snyder, straight ahead, he goes to the 25. And he'll stay on his feet, crosses the 25 down to the 23 uh, yard line. Tackle by number nine, Aaron. And in on the stop, Stur uh, Sturm. So first and 10, oh, they're gonna say Clo. they're gonna move it back. They moved it back to the uh, 23 yard line. He's gotta get down uh, just inside the 23. So second down and about one, we'll call it. Lindsay waiting for the snap. Lindsay and keeps it himself. Tries to bounce it out to the right. And he's going to be brought down. He does not get the corner. And number two, and that was uh, Alex Williams with a nice play. Loss of a half a yard. Third down coming up. Just outside of the 23-yard line of Stanley Boyd. So Panthers to the line now. Single wide receiver left and right. Lindsay waits for the snap. Long count. Hands it off to Snyder. Straight ahead he goes. Crosses the 20. Crosses the 15. He'll have enough for a first down. Brenner in on the stop. Makes it first and 10 at the 14-yard line from the far hash. Clock running down to 10 minutes remaining in the third quarter. 22-14, Mondovi. Mondovi on the march after the turnover. Lindsay waiting for the snap. Single wide receiver, left and right. Snyder in the backfield with him. Lindsay will hand it off to Snyder again. Falls forward, he'll have uh, maybe a yard, if that. And uh, in on the stop, number 51, Robert Poole. Uh, not even that. We'll say no gain on the play. Second and 10 from the 14. Clock continuing to run down to 9.27. As uh, Buffaloes now come to the line. Single wide receiver left and right. Lindsay waits for the snap. Snyder in the backfield with him. Lindsay now will hand it off to Snyder. He picks his way through. He'll be down to about the 10. Third down coming up. Tackle by number 56. Number 56, Riley, Riley Shad with the stop. So third down coming up, long third, and uh, we're going to call it at least five. Nope, make that third and seven. So third and seven now from the 11-yard line. You got to get down to about the four. Lindsay waiting for the snap. 
Lindsay, good snap, hands it off to Schneider again. Straight ahead he goes, stays on his feet, crosses the five. Oh, it looks like he'll have just enough for the first down. And on the stop uh, is uh, Legrander, but that is enough for a first down. First and goal for the Buffaloes from the three-yard line now. Lindsay brings the Buffaloes to the line. Single wide receiver left and right. Snyder in the backfield waiting for the snap with Lindsay. Lindsay will keep it himself. Runs to his right. Cuts up field. He's going to be short. Right at the goal line. I want to say number seven, Landon Carlin, in on the tackle. To, uh, yep, second and goal. Second and inches. So Mondovi trying to cash in here on that turnover. Buffalo's to the line now, second and inches. Right at the goal line, Lindsay waits for the snap. Long count, hands it off to Snyder. Snyder straight ahead, he goes in for the touchdown. Touchdown Peyton Snyder, and that will make it now 28-14. Seven twenty-seven remaining. So Lindsay brings him up to the line. Waits for the snap. Hands it to Snyder. Nope, he's going to keep it himself. Lindsay runs to his right, cuts up field. Two-point conversion is good, and that will make it thirty to fourteen. Mondovi leads with 7.27 remaining here in the third quarter. And thank you to our high school uh, sports uh, sponsors, including The Cottage from Floral Arrangements to Gifts for Mom. Visit The Cottage downtown Duran. They'll be having an open house next week. The JKO Auto Body Shop with custom painting, car restoration, and collision repair. It's the JKO Auto Body Shop, Madison Street, downtown Durand. Duran Fresh Market. Visit them online at freshmarketwy.com. You can get the latest uh, uh, coupons, recipes, and more from your hometown grocery store, Duran Fresh Market. O'Galley Cheese Factory. Visit O'Galley Cheese for all of your snacking needs. They feature cheese, locally made beef sticks, sausages, and more. Open seven days a week, Highway 25, Durand. And Numbers R Us, daily money management for individuals. They take care of things so you don't have to. Mail, handling, a, a bill payment, and fraud prevention. They're bonded and insured. Call Rhonda at 672-8093 or visit Rhonda online at numbersrus.com. Please thank all of our sponsors. Give them a call, drop them an email, visit their business, tell them thank you for supporting our broadcast without their help. We wouldn't be uh, here at Stanley Boyd tonight with our broadcast, so please thank our sponsors for supporting our broadcasts. All right, we are ready to go after the touchdown by Mondovi. 30-14, to 14, Buffalo's lead, 727 remaining in the third quarter. And line drive kick again, taken at the uh, 37. That is number 30. Stale on his feet, crosses the 40 up to the 45. And so... Uh, so it's Gunner uh, Gadel. All right. And uh, so first and 10 for Stanley Boyd right at the 40-yard uh, line. Looks like we have a player down for Montovi, uh, Hunter Sandberg. Or check that 45-yard line is where uh, Stanley Boyd will start. No, we're going to wait here as we have that uh, Sandberg's on the sideline. He's not. He's still too close to the field, and they don't want to. Something runs towards him, he'd get hurt. Looks like he just has a cramp. So the Orioles to the line now. Eisenberger waits for the snap. Spread offense. Back to pass quickly. Throws. It's caught. Up to the 50-yard line. And in on the tackle was uh, Jacob Lindsay. 
Uh, it's going to be into uh, Buffalo territory at the 49-yard line, second down and four. Hurry up offense once again. And uh, Eisenberger keeps it himself. Straight ahead we go. He'll uh, get maybe a yard, third down coming up. Third down and uh, three now. Eisenberger waiting for the snap out of the shotgun. Spread offense. Two wide receivers left and right from the far hash. Eisenberger now. Waits. Back to pass. Oh, it's a fumble. Another fumble. Who's got it? Fumble on the play. Oh, they're going to say it was a forward pass. Incomplete. So they're going to call it a forward pass and not a fumble incomplete. So fourth down coming up. Fourth and three. Well, they're going for it. We know that. Mondovi ain't going to take no chances. They're going to be like, yeah, they're going for it, and that's what they are doing, going for it. Spread offense once again. Whoa, movement. Number six, Madden Marr with the uh, illegal Boston motion. Mario. A free fiver for the Buffaloes. So that moves it back now, makes that fourth down a little bit more interesting. Well, now they might be punting it. Mondovi, though, is like, ah, oh, yeah, we've seen this movie before. Well, the quarterback did come off, off uh, Eisenberger did come off the field. It's like Duzik to kick it away. Low snap, high floating kick, though. Fair catch. It's a muff. It's a muff. Who's got it? And I don't know. And they're going to save Mondovi. Yep, but Lindsey does have it. He muffed it with a defender right in his face. So first and 10 for the Buffaloes at the 27-yard uh, line. 6.32 remaining in the third quarter. 30-14, to 14, uh, Buffaloes lead at the uh, 20. Yep, 27 is where they'll officially mark it. With 6.32 remaining here in this third quarter. And uh, Buffalo's now come to the line. Lindsay will bring the Buffaloes to the line as they try to extend this lead even more so. And Lindsay now waiting for the snap. Single wide receiver left and right. Lindsay hands it to Snyder. Snyder straight ahead he goes. Crosses the 30 up to the 34-yard line. And on the uh, tackle number 65, Gavin Hatfield. What a nice gain for the Buffaloes. Up to the 33-yard uh, line. Gain of about six, we'll call it. Second down and four. Peyton Snyder's had a very nice night. The defense somewhat focusing on Lindsey. Lindsey waiting for the snap. Good snap. Play action. Lindsey rolls to his right. Still rolling, still rolling. Now he's got to keep it himself. And he goes. He's going to maybe get back to the line of scrimmage. Good coverage downfield. He had no one to throw to. So, uh, yep, really no gain on the play. And so a third down coming up. This time from the far hash. Clock continuing to run down to 5.30 remaining in the third quarter. 30-14, to 14, Mondovi. Lindsey gets the play now and brings uh, the uh, Buffaloes to the line. Two wide receivers on the right of the formation. Man now comes in motion. High snap and a handoff straight ahead we go. That is number 32, Carter Heike. And he'll be up to the 36 yard line short of the first down. Fourth down coming up. Fourth and about two we'll call it. I think the Buffaloes are going for it. We're going to call it fourth and one from the 36-yard line. They are going for it. Buffalo's going to go for it here with 428 remaining. Wow. Fourth and one from their own 36. Showing blitz. Good snap. Lindsey flag down as we had motion before the play. Now everyone's all happy about that, but I, that would not have made it on the fourth down. Lindsey would have been stopped. So now they'll get the, uh, it's a free fiver for Stanley Boyd. But I would say more importantly, though, for the Buffaloes, yeah, now they can kick it away. 
because I don't think that would, that would, they would have made it on fourth down. So in a way, the motion actually benefited the Buffaloes. The penalty will benefit the Buffaloes. So Lindsay to kick it away. Good snap, here comes the rush. High float and kick. Taken at the 40 yard line. And that is uh, make it the 41 and that is where Stanley Boyd will take over with four minutes remaining in the third quarter, 30 to 14. Mondovi leads, thank you to Heike Pharmacy. Flu and COVID-19 and uh, uh, other uh, vaccine shots uh, for the fall will be available from Heike Pharmacy. Visit or uh, call Heike Pharmacy downtown Duran for more information. Duran Smokehouse, for all of your grilling needs, it's Duran Smokehouse, Highway 25 at Duran. Ask about the beef and pork bundles at Duran Smokehouse and 24-7 in West Wisconsin Telecom, building smart fiber optic communities from the ground up. Find out more, visit www.wwt.coop. First and 10 now for Stanley Boyd. Man goes in motion, Eisenberger waits for the snap, good snap, back to pass, going deep. On the fly pattern, it's caught! What a play, number six, and that's Med Marr with the big catch all the way down to the Buffalo 23-yard line. First down. They're going to say officially 24 as well. They will mark it first and 10 for the Orioles. Spread offense once again. Good snap. Handoff straight ahead we go. That is number seven. That's Carlin. He goes nowhere. Off to number 17, Jake Lagrander. We checked that number 17, that would have been Legrander. He gets uh, stopped right away. No gain, second down and 10. Good snap, quick throw. Caught to by Marr. Marr is caught. They're tackled right away uh, by number 15, Remington. Gain of maybe one, third down coming up. From the near hash, third and nine, we'll call it from the Buffalo 23. As Eisenberger now waits for the snap. Trips right this time from the near hash. Back to pass. Eisenberger, he's going to go to his left now. He's in trouble. Breaks, gets away. One tackle over, throws it. Oh, he, if he could have completed that pass, that would have been enough for a first down pass intended for Legrander. Fourth down coming up. And uh, we have a timeout. We have an injured player for Mondovi. Looks like that might be Porter Bauer, number six. 3.08 remaining here in the third quarter. Fourth down coming up, fourth and nine, 30 to 14. Buffalo's lead. And uh, thank you to Provisions Health Durand, changing the way you experience healthcare. Find out more at provisions.health. The Rooster Tail, visit the Rooster Tail Grill for daily specials. Don't forget about the uh, Friday fish fry. Also tomorrow's Saturday pizza day at the Rooster Tail Grill. Downtown Duran. Duran Napa farmers visit Duran Napa for custom hoses, bulk fluids, filters, tools, and uh, all the parts you need to keep your farm equipment running during this harvest season. Alcivia Co op, yes, get the snowblower ready for winter. I know it's a nice day, but have Alcivia's uh, small engine center tune up that snowblower before the snow flies this winter. That's at Alcivia Co op Duran. Please thank all of our sponsors. Give them a call, drop them an email, visit their business, tell them thank you for supporting our broadcasts here on WRDN. Without the support of these businesses and organizations, we would not be here at uh, Stanley Boyd tonight. Again, Porter Bauer has a uh, severe cramp, it looks like. That's what they're working on right now. So we have a stoppage of play, 30 to 14. The uh, Buffaloes lead. And fourth and nine for Stanley Boyd from the Buffalo 23-yard line. So Stanley Boyd's had some big big plays they haven't really been able to they've had the, the turnovers Mondovi has cashed in on most of the turnovers there was the one in the second quarter where after uh, Mondovi scored on the ensuing kickoff kickoff was muffed and Mondovi got the ball at the 30 but couldn't cash in
tomorrow after the Durand Arkansas Claire Regis football game. We'll have NASCAR coverage for you uh, from the Kansas Motor Speedway with the Kansas Lottery 300. Uh, that'll start at uh, 1 30 after uh, in tomorrow afternoon. And then we have the Xfinity or we have the NASCAR Cup Series Hollywood Casino 400 on Sunday afternoon with coverage beginning at 1 o'clock here on WRDN and online at realcountry1430.com. As uh, the playoffs continue and the NASCAR Cup Series. And so it uh, looks like they're going to get Porter Bauer up. And he's limping off. He's kind of under his own power. That cramp's probably hurting really bad. All right, so we have uh, fourth and nine now for Stanley Boyd. All right, here we go. Waiting for the snap now. Eisenberger hands it off, and it's going to be the reverse. And now we're going to throw it. We heave it up, and it's going to be intercepted. Intercepted by the Buffaloes. Intercepted uh, by uh, Lindsey. He could have potentially knocked it down, and it would have been yet a little bit better field position. But it's also good to just take it as the Buffaloes will take over at the 12-yard line. And so first and 10 now for Mondovi from their own 12, leading 30 to 14 with 2.56 remaining here in the third quarter. Lindsay now waiting for the snap. Lindsay keeps it himself. Straight ahead we go. Gets all bottled up and uh, maybe gets a yard. And looks like in on the stop was uh, Chase Sturm. And uh, maybe a half a yard on the play, second down and 10, we'll just call it. So Buffalo's now come to the line. Single wide receiver left and right from the near hash. Lindsay waiting for the snap along with uh, Snyder. In the backfield. Hand off to Snyder. Snyder tries to pick his way through, gets up to the 15, and up to uh, maybe the uh, 16. Third down coming up. Third and six, we'll call it. They have to get to the 22. Clock continuing to run down to a minute 47 remaining in the third quarter. So Lindsay now waiting for the snap. Two wide receivers here on the near side. Lindsay keeps it himself. He's going to run to his right. Gets to the 15, to the 20. Cuts back to the center of the field. I think he's got enough for the first down. Or it's going to be darn close. Oh, he's at the 23. That's a first down. Yep, first down for the Buffaloes from the 23-yard line. So the clock continuing to run down to a minute 19. Again, Mondovi leading 30 to 14. Lindsay brings to the Buffaloes to the line now. Single wide receiver left and right. Snyder in the backfield with him, waiting for the snap. Play action, Lindsay throws, going deep, looking for number four and incomplete. Pass intended for Lozelle. Second down coming up. Again, you gotta Got to try and do that every now and then. Otherwise, if you just uh, keep running it, the defense is going to start to 
really loaded up. Got to keep them honest. Second and 10 from the 23. Lindsay now brings to the Buffaloes to the line. Single wide receiver left and right. Snyder with uh, Lindsay in the backfield. Lindsay will hand it off to Snyder. Straight ahead he goes. Toss, crosses the 25, scoots forward, gets across the 30, down to about the 31. And uh, in on the uh, stop number 56, Riley Shad. Third down here coming up. Call it third and three. Have to get up to about the 33. So they're just outside the 30 yard line. Twenty two seconds remaining here in the third quarter. Lindsay now waiting for the snap. Good snap. Hands it off to Snyder. Straight ahead he goes. Pushes the pile forward. And second effort crosses the 35. That's a first down to the 20 or to the 36 yard line. And in on the um, uh, stop is uh, Chase Durham, and that'll run out the clock and end the third quarter with Mondovi leading 30 to 14. We have uh, fourth quarter action uh, coming up. It's Mondovi Boys Football here on WRDN. When your reputation is on the line, go to the Midwest leader, Bauer Built Tire and Service, for all your tire and service repair needs. They've been supplying cars, SUVs, light and medium truck tires, as well as farm tires since 1944. Plus, they've built their reputation on services such as alignments, brakes, and suspension work that will exceed your expectations. Stop in today at Bauer Built Tire and Service on Mall Drive in Eau Claire and in Durant. Bauer Built, built on service. Welcome back to uh, Stanley Boyd as we get ready for the fourth quarter with uh, Mondovi leading 30 to 14. And Mondovi will have a first down, first and 10 at uh, their 36 yard line. Well, Mondovi's been able to take advantage of the uh, Stanley Boyd turnovers this evening. There's that two touchdown lead. So first and 10 now for Mondovi. And they come out after the end of the quarter. <clears throat> and uh, Lindsay now will two wide receivers now uh, to uh, the uh, left and one to the right. Mondovi now going from left to right here in this third quarter from the near hash. Man comes in motion. And it's going to be hand off to Snyder. Straight ahead we go. Crosses the 40, puts his head down, and he'll be up to about the 45-yard line. And on the stop, number two, Alex Williams. Second down and one. Well, Mondovi would just like to have a nice long drive. Just keep it on the ground, keep the clock going. So two wide receivers now on the left, one on the right from the near hash again. Lindsay waiting for the snap. Man comes in motion and uh, play action. And uh, Lindsay has to run for his life, gets away, keeps it himself to the 45, puts his head down, crosses the 50, and up into uh, Stanley Boy territory. And uh, Lindsay was in trouble, but was able to escape uh, deep in the backfield and... Managed to get to the outside, and he was off to the races. It's a first down at uh, the Oriole 48-yard line. First and 10 Results in a bond over on the far hash. Down. Buffalo's up to the line. Single wide receiver left and right. Lindsay waits for the snap. Snyder back in the backfield with him. Hand off to Snyder, straight ahead we go. Crosses the 45, down to about the 42-yard line. And on the stop, Alex Williams. They're going to move him back 
a couple of yards looks like. Yep, they'll move it back, and now we get a timeout. Got a player limping, and uh, they're going to take him out. That for Mondovi, number 67, Caden Deaton. Deaton, rather. So uh, they'll officially mark it just inside the 44-yard line. Call it second down and six. From the far hash, Buffalo's come to the line. Single wide receiver left and right. Lindsay waiting for the snap. Snyder waiting uh, with him in the backfield. Hand off this time to Snyder once again. Straight ahead we go. And he's going to cross the 40 uh, down to the 35-yard line. We check that that was number 32. That was Carter Heike with the carry. Sorry, Carter Heike with the carry. Enough for a first down for the Buffaloes. All right. Clock running down to 10.34 remaining. Rondovi on the move once again. First and 10 from the 35. Lindsay now waiting for the snap. Single wide receiver left and right. All right, this time Snyder's in the backfield. Hands it off to Snyder. Straight ahead we go. This time he's going to be bottled up right away. And uh, in on the tackle looked like number 56, Riley Shad, with the stop. No gain on the play. Second and 10. Lindsay gets the play from the sideline now. Buffalo's come to the line. Single wide receiver on left and right. Lindsay waiting for the snap. He's got Snyder in the backfield with him. Lindsay, good snap, keeping himself. He's going to the left. Crosses the 30. Stays on his feet, falls forward on the far side and up to about the 27. Suriman on the stop for Stanley Boyd, and they'll mark it right at the 27. Third and two. Third down and two yards. Approaching the nine-minute mark now. Again, Mondovi leading 30 to 14. Buffalo's to the line. Single wide receiver left and right. Lindsay now waiting for the snap. Lindsay to Snyder. Straight ahead we go. First down and then some. He'll cross the 20 and down to the 19-yard line. And on the stop, Alex Williams. But another Buffalo first down. So first and 10. So the Buffalo's... They're really controlling the line of scrimmage right now. They're kind of having their way, just getting these five, six-yard runs, keeping the clock moving. Lindsay now waiting for the snap. Good snap, hands it off to Snyder. No, it's play action. Now he puts it up, and wounded duck falls incomplete. And uh, in his face was Storm Teary. And so a second and ten. Listening to Mondovi Boys Football here on Real Country 1430 AM Stereo, WRDN, Durand, Mondovi, Wabasha, and 107.3 FM Translator, W297CH, Durand. Brian Winnikins with you from Stanley Boyd High School, fourth quarter. Mondovi leading 30 to 14. And a second down and 10 from the 19. Lindsay waits for the snap. Hands it off uh, this time uh, to Heike. Heike straight ahead he goes. Crosses uh, the 15 down to about the 10 yard line. So, so nice little change of pace. And makes it a third down and one. Snyder comes back in now. He's running back. Lindsay brings the Buffaloes to the line. Single wide receiver left and right. 
Lindsay waiting for the snap. Good snap, hands it off to Snyder. Straight ahead we go, we'll have the first down. He pushes the pile forward down to the six yard line. So first and 10 for Mondovi, or first and goal now from the Oriole six yard line. Mondovi trying to, again, blow this game a little bit open here and extend their lead. They're up uh, 30 to 14, seven minutes remaining here in the game. Lindsay now waits for the snap. Heike in the backfield with him this time. And uh, play action. Throws, oh, it was, I think, tipped. I think it was tipped by number 50, Steary. Pass intended for Larson. So second and goal now from the six. Buffaloes now come to the line. Lindsay and Heike in the backfield waiting for the snap. Single wide receiver left and right. Hands off to Heike. Heike tries to bounce it outside. He's going nowhere. And uh, that'll make a third and goal now coming up. Looks like Williams in on the stop for Stanley Boyd. So uh, Heike comes out and Snyder comes in. Well, four down territory here for the uh, Buffaloes. Fourth and goal from the six. Mondovi comes to the line approaching the 620 mark in the game. Lindsay now waiting for the snap. Four wide receivers in, three to the right, one to the left. Lindsay keeps it himself. He's going to roll to his uh, left, tries to dive in. He's short. Down to the one-yard line, fourth down. Well, they're going to move it back to the two. So fourth and goal from the two. Far hash. So Buffalo's now to the line. 5.30 remaining in the game. Buffalo's leading 30 to 14. Lindsay now waiting for the snap. Good snap, play action. Lindsay throws it and it's gonna be caught. Touchdown to Braden, Lar or Braden Larson with the touchdown from the pass from Lindsay to make it 36-14. So the Buffaloes will go for the two. Five twenty-four remaining in the game. So Mondovi to the line. Lindsay now waiting for the snap. Two wide receivers uh, to the left. Good snap. And is going to throw it, and it's going to be caught. That's number six. He will not get in. That is Bauer. And so uh, the two-point conversion, no good. 36-14, Mondovi leads with 524 remaining here in the game. Thank you to the Cell Block. Visit Cell Blocks for Friday fish fries on the fr Fish Fry Fridays. They also have the all-day soup and salad bar on Fish Fry Fridays. Martin Transport to Mondovi. Visit their website at martin.com for the latest job opportunities. Better in blue at Martin Transport. Drand Improvement Group. Many hands make light work. Volunteer to help with community events throughout the year. Visit DrandImprovementGroup.org. Ryan Sports Shop. Visit Ryan Sports Shop for all of your fishing needs. Don't forget about the 24-hour bait and tackle machine. And a Silo, your Coyote Tractor Dealer and Toro Lawnmower Dealer. Highway 25, Durand. 
SFB Security Financial Bank. Secure your future with your community bank. Security Financial Bank, West Prospect Street, Durand. Advent Health of Durand. Healthcare close to home. That's Advent Health, Durand. And Sundstrom and Company, your local tax experts. Call them now for end-of-year tax planning, 672-4425, to schedule that appointment. Please thank all of our sponsors. Give them a call, drop them an email, visit their business. Tell them thank you for supporting our broadcasts here on WRDN. Without their help, we would not be here at Stanley Boyd tonight. So please thank our sponsors. They're the, one that, they're the ones that make our broadcast possible. We'll have our Bower Built post-game show coming up. We'll run down scores, preview our next broadcast as well. That's all coming up on our Bower Built post-game show. And so uh, taken at the 25. Oh, we're going to get it to Marr. Marr to the 35, to the 40. And he'll be down to about the 42-yard line trying to get something happening. And uh, Heike with the stop, first and 10 for Stanley Boyd with 519 remaining. And Mondovi leading 36-14. We'll have it at the 43-yard line is where they will officially mark it. So here we go. Hurry up offense from the near hash. Two wide receivers left and right. And Eisenberger now waiting for the snap. Man comes in motion. And it's going to be handoff. That's to number seven. Breaks one tackle, crosses the 50 up to the 48-yard line. That's Carlin. And uh, in on the stop, uh, looked like was uh, number 15. Uh, Remington in on the stop. Second down and one. Eisenberger waits for the snap, man in motion. Eisenberger rolls to his right, steps up, throwing deep. And it's going to be, is it intercepted? Intercepted. Intercepted by number six, and that is a Porter Bauer pass intended for Marr. But Bauer makes the play, and it's going to be first and ten Buffaloes at the 13-yard line. With 4.54 remaining in the game and uh, Mondovi leading 36 to 14. Thank you to Charles LP Gas and Appliance, offering a full line of Whirlpool appliances along with installation and service. Downtown Durant, Prime Realty of Durant. Visit their website at primerealitymidwest.com. Prime Realty, they are the area's number one home seller. First and 10 now for Mondovi. Lindsay waiting for the snap. Well, they just get a couple of first downs and we'll be done. And a whistle and a flag. Legal motion, a free fiver for Stanley Boyd. All right. Thank you to Adam Super Service, your Napa Gold Car Care Center, offering complete auto service and shuttle service and loaner vehicles while they fix your vehicle. That's downtown Durant. And Tech, your premier communications and entertainment provider, Durant. So they move it back to the nine, first and 15 now. And uh, handoff now to... Uh, Snyder breaks into the open field, crosses the 15, crosses the 20 up to uh, the near enough for a first down. I think he's got it. First down for the Buffaloes. Yep, up to the 25 uh, officially is, yep, uh, so that's enough for the first down. So the clock will continue to run down to 435 remaining. Mondovi to the line now. Lindsay waiting for the snap. Single wide receiver left and right. Lindsay taking his time here. Trying to use as much clock as possible. Good snap to Snyder. Straight ahead we go. He gets up to about the 27-yard uh, line. And uh, in on the stop number 70, and that was uh, Willie Graham. And so now, timeouts. Official timeout. We have, looks like an injury timeout. All right. Thank you to Endless Summer Fitness and Tanning with Around the Clock Fitness and Tanning Access, downtown Durand. The Jerry Thompson Insurance Agency, hometown agents representing you, not individual insurance companies. And Jerry Barron Sons. Farmers, find out how you can receive cash discounts with fall seed orders. Jerry Barron Sons, Highway 25, Durand. Please thank all of our sponsors as they make our broadcast possible 
here on WRDN. Give our sponsors a call, drop them an email, visit their business, and tell them thank you for supporting our broadcasts. So, second down and eight from the 27 for Mondovi. Lindsay now waiting for the snap, single wide receiver left and right. Lindsay hands it off this time to Heike. Straight ahead we go to the 30, to the 35. It'll be close to a first down. Be enough for the first down. So first and 10 from the 35. Clock continuing to run down to 324. Mondovi gonna win this game. They're currently leading 36-14. We have our Bauer Bill post game show coming up. Run down scores from around the area. Preview our next broadcast coming up during our Bauer Bill post game show. Lindsay now waiting for the snap. Single wide receiver left and right. Good snap. And it's going to be uh, this time to Heike again. Goes to his left. Gets up to about the 36 yard line. Gain of about one. Second down and nine. And on the stop was number 40, Chase Sturm. So second down here on the way. And Buffalo's now come up to the line. Lindsay waits for the snap. Single wide receiver left and right. Uh oh, fumble on the snap. Lindsay's just going to fall on it. Smart move. Just don't worry about it. Lost back to the uh, 26 yard line. Makes it third down and long. Third and almost 20. So, again, third down though, but the clock continues to run. We're under two minutes remaining. Down to a minute 50. Again, our Bauer built a post game show on the way. And Buffalo's now to the line. Lindsay waiting for the snap. Single wide receiver left and right. Hands off to Heike. Heike straight ahead. It's going to get hit right away. Number 51, Robert Poole. And uh, Mondovi will have to punt. Fourth down. Timeout. Stanley Boyd. So Stanley Boyd calls timeout. NASCAR uh, coverage tomorrow afternoon. We'll have the uh, Kansas... Lottery 300 Xfinity Series race from the Kansas Motor Speedway. Our coverage begins tomorrow afternoon at 1.30. And then on uh, Sunday, it's the Hollywood Casinos 400 so NASCAR Cup race with coverage beginning at 1 o'clock. Listen for NASCAR all season long here on WRDN and online at our website at realcountry1430.com. Be a nice win for the Buffaloes tonight. They will stay undefeated with the win tonight. Down to a minute 16. They do have to punt. See if they got the block on. As uh, Lindsay to uh, kick it away. Whistle and movement. Yep, free fiver for Stanley Boyd. Well, now they probably got the block on. Good snap to Lindsay. He does get the kick away. It's going to be a short kick. And a fair catch at the 47-yard line by uh, Carlin. So that's where Stanley Boyd will take over at the 47-yard line. 
First and 10 at the uh, Buffalo 47. With a minute 10 remaining in the game and Mondovi leading 36 to 14. Again, our Bauer Bill post game show on the way. Get some scores from around the area, preview our next broadcast as well. It's all coming up on our Bauer Bill post game show. And so Eisenberger now waiting for the snap. Four wide receivers in once again. Well, it's a fumble on the snap. Eisenberger dives on it, and he'll have an, uh, he'll uh, recover it. Lost back to the 50. So hurry up offense once again. Good snap. Back to passes Eisenberger. He throws. It's caught. Caught by Carlin. And he'll cross the 50, but he'll be uh, get maybe back to the original line of scrimmage. And uh, in on the stop uh, for Mondovi, number 12, Evan Bauer. Third down and 11. Eisenberger now waits for the snap. Man goes in motion. Back to pass is Eisenberger. Steps, throws, intercepted. Intercepted by the Buffaloes. And that uh, puts the big exclamation point on it. Number 42 with the interception, Hunter Wick. Now well, the Buffaloes will just have to take a knee. There you go. And they are going to win tonight by a score of 36 to 14. So uh, they end this one with a nice exclamation point, another turnover, and uh, Mondovi will stay undefeated as uh, they win it here at Stanley Boyd tonight. As they just have to take the knee and we'll be done. Lindsay waits for the snap, and he'll take the knee, and that's it. And so uh, Mondovi wins it tonight by a score of 36 to 14. Coming up, our Bauer Built's post game show being brought to you by Bauer Built Tire and Service, Durand, and Mall Drive, Eau Claire. It's Mondovi Boys Football here on WRDN. Thank you for listening to tonight's Duran Panther Sports Broadcast on WRDN. Time now for the Bauer Built Panther Post Game Show, brought to you by Bauer Built Tire and Service, with locations in Durand and Mall Drive, Eau Claire. When your reputation is on the line, go to the Midwest leader, Bauer Built Tire and Service, for all your tire and service repair needs. They've been supplying cars, SUVs, light and medium truck tires, as well as farm tires since 1944. Plus, they've built their reputation on services such as alignments, brakes, and suspension work that will exceed your expectations. Stop in today at Bauer Built Tire and Service on Mall Drive in Eau Claire and in Durant. Bauer Built, built on service. Welcome back uh, to uh, Stanley Boyd, where tonight Mondovi wins it by a score of 36 to 14. And uh, with the, the win, Mondovi now will go to 2 and 0 in the Clover Bell Conference. 4 and 0 overall for Stanley Boyd with the loss. They now fall to 3 and 1 overall and 1 and 1 in the Clover Belt off uh, conference. Well, really the name of this game, turnovers. And Mondovi caused a lot of turnovers. I think it was five, maybe six turnovers uh, overall tonight. And so, uh, and they capitalized on them as well to win this game 36 to 14. Let's run down scores on our Duran Fresh Market scoreboard. Duran Fresh Market, your hometown grocery store. Well, along with the uh, Mondovi win over Stanley Boyd. Uh, Spring Valley defeats uh, Colfax 45-6. to six. It was Elk Mound over Osseo Fairchild 47 to nothing. Baldwin-Woodville defeats Ellsworth 49 to nothing. Wabasha Kellogg defeats Hayfield 37 to eight. Alma Pepin blanks Augusta 39 to nothing. Alma Pepin's also undefeated. It was uh, Hudson defeating River Falls 48 to 26 and New Richmond they defeat uh, Eau Claire Memorial 31 to 7. Our final score uh, tonight 36-14 Mondovi uh, wins it over Stanley Boyd 
And uh, coming up, uh, we're going to uh, preview our next broadcast as well uh, here on our Bauer Built Post Game Show, brought to you by Bauer Built Tire and Service, Durand and Mall Drive, Eau Claire. It's Mondovi Boys Football on WRDN. WRDN. When your reputation is on the line, go to the Midwest leader, Bauer Built Tire and Service, for all your tire and service repair needs. They've been supplying cars, SUVs, light and medium truck tires, as well as farm tires since 1944. Plus, they've built their reputation on services such as alignments, brakes, and suspension work that will exceed your expectations. Stop in today at Bauer Built Tire and Service on Mall Drive in Eau Claire and in Durand. Bauer Built, built on service. And welcome back uh, to uh, Stanley Boyd, where tonight uh, the uh, Mondovi Buffaloes uh, win it over Stanley Boyd by a score of uh, 36 to 14. Our next broadcast tomorrow morning as uh, the Duran Panthers will try to get on the winning track and as they uh, will be traveling to Eau Claire Regis. And we will have that game for you from Carson Park tomorrow morning with the Advent Health uh, Panther preview at about uh, uh, 10.45 and kickoff tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock. So that will be our next uh, broadcast uh, is uh, tomorrow morning from Carson Park. Again with uh, Durand, Arkansas taking on Eau Claire Regis. Well, we hope you enjoyed uh, the broadcast uh, tonight. Again, please thank all of our sponsors. Uh, they are the ones that make our broadcast possible, uh, not only on the radio, but also with our streaming audio and streaming video service as well. So please thank those sponsors because, again, without their help, uh, it's pretty simple. We would not uh, be able to bring you uh, tonight's game. So please uh, give our sponsors a call, but we hope you enjoyed uh, the broadcast uh, tonight as well. As, uh, again, once again, Mondovi wins it by a score of 36 to 14. You've been listening uh, to uh, Mondovi uh, Boys Football here on Real Country 1430 AM Stereo, WRDN, Durand, Mondovi, Wabasha, and 107.3 FM, Translator W297CH, Durand. I'm Brian Winnikins. Have a great evening.